Okay. Okay, let's get this party started. How you guys you guys hearing me okay? Oh. It will probably last until my voice goes out. I started I wrote this many, many years ago and uh started off at just twenty-five and then it kept uh, yeah, it just kept going because people kept asking me uh, to uh, keep adding to it. And then Dungeon Masters kept reminding me of things I've done. So I didn't expect it to be as long as it was when I started putting it in, in the uh, writing. It's 66 pages written out. So um, if you guys want to know the background on something, just throw a donation in because this is... To, I am trying to get some uh, money to buy uh, the family Christmas gifts. Uh, but be warned, explaining the joke is not, um, yeah, explaining the joke is not always a good thing. But let's get started. So, I won't be calling out the numbers because that will take a lot longer than usual. So, here we go. Uh, starting with number one. Cannot base characters off the Who's drummer, Keith Moon. A one-man band is not an appropriate bard instrument. There is no gnomish god of heavy artillery. My 7th C character, Boudreaux, is not Southern Montaigne. Not allowed to blow all my skill points on one-point professional skills. Synchronized panicking is not a proper battle plan. Not allowed to use psychic powers to do the dishes. He How to serve dragons is not a cookbook. My monk's lips must be in sync. Just because my character and I can speak German doesn't mean the GM can. Not allowed to berserk for the hell of it, especially during royal masquerades. Must learn at least one offensive or defensive spell if I'm the sorcerer. Must not murder cannon NPCs in their sleep, no matter how cliche they are. Ogres are not kosher. Plan B is not automatically twice as much gunpowder as plan A. I will not beat Tomb of Horrors in less than ten minutes from memory. Collateral Damage Man is not an appropriate name for a superhero. When surrendering, I am to hand the sword over hilt first. Drow are not good eating. Polka is not an appropriate marching music. No longer allowed to create the Death Star trench run out of genre. There is no such thing as a gnomish pygmy war rhino. Any character who has a sensitivity training center named after him will be taken away. Even if the rules allow it, I am not allowed to summon 50,000 blue whales. The green elf does not need food badly. Valley Speak has no place in a fantasy setting, especially if I'm the paladin. I'm not allowed to shoot every corpse in the head to make sure they're not a zombie in Twilight 2000. The goddess of marriage weapon. The goddess of marriage's weapon. Cho the goddess of marriage chosen weapon is not the whip. I cannot have any gun that requires me to continue the damage code on back. I am not allowed to kill off all the vampires in the LARP, even if they are terminally stupid. The trap. The backup trap handler is not whoever has the most hit points at the time. I cannot buy any animal in groups of 100 or over. There is no skill such as improvised cooking. Cannot ba I am not allowed to base any droid off of any character played by Joe Pesci. I am not allowed to convince the entire party to play R2 units. I am not allowed to convince the entire party to sit on the same side of the table. They do not make black market illegal cyber weapons for rodents. When investigating evil cultists, can't just torch the decrepit mansion from the outside. Gnomes do not have the racial ability, can lick their eyebrows. Gnomes do not have the racial ability to hold their breath for 10 minutes. Gnomes do not have the racial ability impromptu kickstand. Having a big nose adds nothing to my seduction jack. No longer to set propaganda music to a snappy di disco beat. Um, these are all mine. Every one of them. Everything that's not on the live journal list is not mine. This is the only reason the live journal still exists. Uh, let me see. Not allowed to spend all 100 character... Okay, it's read that one. My character names are not allowed to be double entendres. Sliver rhymes with silver because the computer frelling says so. They do not make Nair and Wookiee sizes. The elf is restricted to decaf for the rest of the adventure. Not allowed to blow up the Death Star before that snotty farm kid gets his shot. Not allowed to use thermodynamic science to asphyxiate the orc's caves instead of exploring it first. No longer allowed to use the time machine for booty calls. My bard does not know how to play Inagata Devita on maracas. Not allowed to start a not allowed to start a drow character weighing more than a quarter ton. Cannot pimp out other party members. 
Before facing the dragon, not allowed to glaze the elf. No matter how well I roll, a, squ a squirrel cannot carry a horse and rider at full sprint. In the middle of a black op, I cannot ask a guard to validate parking. Expended ammunition is not a business expense. Not allowed to pose the net runner in, in embarrassing positions when he's on the run. Not allowed to short sheet the bedroll of impotent deities. I can only taunt the ranger about his lack of swimming after my United States Coast Guard E-8 saves him. Not allowed to do anything I saw Han Solo do once. No, I cannot buy 10,000 marbles even if I say please. My paladin's battle cry is not good for the good god. There is no summon bimbo spell. Not allowed to start a character that speaks every language except the ones the party speaks. There is no kung fu maneuver where McGuire swings for bleachers. Uh, lots and lots and lots of uh, tensors floating disc and detection spells. Um, let me see. Bring him back intact includes redundant organs. There is more to wizardry than magic missile, even if I can do 200 damage automatic with no save. The order of the stick forms got the damage total up to over 400. Uh, not allowed to cook up nerve gas in the sink, even if the target number is 5. There is no annoy phase setting on a phaser. Not allowed to start a character who is over 100 years old unless he's an elf or a dwarf. Humans are right out. Not allowed to name my cudgel the ceremonial whoop-ass stick. My thief's battle cry is not run and live. Nor is it, you take care of the orcs, I take care of the traps. I am not allowed any artistic license while translating. I did not get my superpowers from James T. Kirk. I'm not allowed to commission a pistol that costs more than a sedan. I am not liquid metal. When accepting a challenge for a duel, I must allow the other guy time to find a pistol. A picture of my ex-wife is not an acceptable backup weapon. Victory laps after killing the dragon with my 1D2 bow is considered poor taste. My gnome does not like big butts, and he cannot lie. Not allowed to talk to my fellow inquisitors into buying a 220-pound pole crossbow. Not allowed to talk my fellow inquisitors into, into buying an industrial street flamethrower. Not allowed to make a superhero with a 99% chance of dodging, even after the minus 10 penalty for a successful called shot. There is no such thing as a dwarven katana. My bard does not get a bonus to perform if she's obviously not wearing anything under her tabard. The elf's name is not Legolam. My, swashbuckle, my swashbuckling fop cannot take the dark secret. Dot, dot, my, swap, my swashbuckling fop cannot take the flaw dark secret. Not gay. A wet towel does not constitute an improvised weapon. The name of the weapon shop is not Bloodbath and Beyond. I had to remind my DM that he must never, ever give my paladin a dire bore for a mount again. I cannot base my, an my ancient kung fu master on either Gene Simmons or Bluto Blutarski. No putting the thunder god on the spot again. No making up pole arms. My one wish cannot be I wish everything on this piece of paper was true. There is no such thing as speed polka. Not allowed to see if a Jedi can parry a shotgun blast with their lightsaber. When a character, when any character from a D20 source book is allowed, that doesn't include system lords. Not allowed to pave anything. Not al I am not authorized to start any civil engineering project on the taxpayer dime. There is no such thing as a club plus three of cup checks. Nor is there a plus one longsword plus five against party members. I am not allowed to polymorph anyone to end Abe Vigoda. I do not have weapon proficiency in cat. There is no such game as Where Shark the Buffet. No, I do not get XP for every single crew member on that Death Star. Or I am not allowed to kill a vampire with any part of a DC-10 larger than my car. I'm not allowed to serenade the party even if my character has an internal tape deck. I did not pick up the garrote skill last week from my grandmother. If the gun doesn't fit through the x-ray machine, it doesn't go on the plane. My droid is not allowed to paraphrase any Jack Nicholson soliloquy. The demi-lich only falls for getting stuffed into the bag of holding once. My musical instrument does not double as a personal flotation device. I'm not allowed to take a coffee break during the final supervillain showdown. I am restricted to memorizing floating disc only once per day. I will pick a more traditional paladin weapon instead of a sledgehammer. My character's name cannot be anagrams of Playboy Playmates. I am not allowed to kill another party member with a boomerang again. I am not a contractor for Dragon Cave Cleaning Services Incorporated. The paladin's alignment is not lawful anal. Not allowed to forget not not allowed to forget to mention traps when the power gamer has point. I cannot insert the words "kill Phil, sorry Phil" into any list of instructions. Lingerie can only snap coincidentally so many times per day. Dwarves do not count as burrowing animals. Not allowed to download AOL 6.0 on the Yarasaka mainframe. Polka gnomes exist only in my mind. I'm not allowed to name my ship the anti-disestablishmentarianism. I am not authorized to form the head. 
Not allowed to bet how many times the Lich bounces. There is no feat called Death Blossom. My acrobat cannot balance on the Warlord's head for more than one round. The King's Guard's official's name is not the Royal Order of the Red Shirt. I cannot demand payment in Electrum, Back Rubs, or Bubble Wrap. I cannot start the Seventh Sea Campaign with three confirmed Draken kills. I do not have a scorching case of lycanthropy. If the mere thought of it costs the other sanity, I am forbidden from doing it. My bard is required to take levels in the perform skill and cannot just play by ear. The Dutch language does not exist in the Forgotten Realms. My maid does not know Kung Fu. Not allowed to give a four-year-old a sugar rush just to jack up the challenge rating later. Not allowed to buy a holy symbol for every god just in case one of them is right. There is no such thing as pleather armor. I cannot go back in time to cut. In, I cannot go back in time to cut in line at the Declaration of Independence, so everyone at now is asked to ask for their Terence E. Wakzinski when signing its documents. Not allowed to play an Australian in any game set before 1600. Hobbits do not have Norse ancestry. There is no gnomish death grip, and even if there was, it wouldn't involve tongs. Looting the unguarded baggage train is not considered a glorious victory. Not allowed to create rec recreational drugs in suppository format. Halflings do not have racial proficiency with a flamethrower. When the guy is at negative 9 hit points, that's not the best time for my cleric to try to convert him. I will not propose to every woman at the royal ball until I crit my charisma check. I am not allowed to rub the, head, the monk's head for luck. I am not allowed to rub any part of the elf chick for any reason. When one person forgets to buy rations, eating the half-elf is not our first option. Any capital-scale weapon is not my little friend. I will not declare myself a god just so I can grant myself spells. Airlocks do not double as trash disposals. I will not load any Gatling weapon with anything but paint with nothing but paint rounds. I will not nail every single female party member except for the elf guy played by that creepy chick, by that creepy guy. Whatever monster we killed is not going to be tonight's dinner. Not allowed to try and make a dire version of any dog of the toy breeds. I am not going to tattle to the halfling assassin's mom about his career choice. I am forbidden from replacing anything with Folger's crystals to see if they notice. Not allowed to bribe the enemy commander into withdrawing with a stole, stolen Elvis LP collection. I was not recruited by Star League for any reason. I was also not recruited by 12 dwarfs and a, and a wizard to rob a dragon. I am neither the pagan god nor goddess of fertility. I cannot name my character Zadgig or any anagram thereof. My character's dying words are not allowed to be Haster, Haster, Haster. At no point can I justify spending force points on a seduction check. I am not allowed to create, recreate uh, Virz's March of the 8080s on Zendel Keep. There is no use of Shatner's spoken word album that does not require a humanity check. I am not directly descended from either Huey Lewis or any other member of the news. I cannot make called shots to the Plectrum, Anvil, Stirrup, Hammer, or Isle of Langerhands. Stinking Cloud is a privilege, not a right. There are no profanities in, in Celestial. Shummer means that he is my friend, not that sharks find him tasty. I have neither the touch nor the power. I cannot quote Shakespeare in Krynos. No figuring out the plot and killing the actual villain five minutes into the adventure. There are no rules for cooking corn dogs in any D20 supplement. A starting character has no need for 100 gold pieces worth of hemp rope. My bard does not need roadies for a dungeon crawl. No cutting in line to be a god. I cannot gain more than three drama die per session for making the GMP. I cannot play an elf with a Scottish accent or a Cajun dwarf. Tourette's is not a flaw. It is a reason to kill the character at creation. Dual wielding small mammals is strictly forbidden. For Shadowrun, are you a pink mohawk player, DM type? Uh, actually, I play I play really dark characters when I play Shadowrun. Uh, the gun is best if the gun is best fired using the artillery skill. My character is not allowed to have it. Oh, I forgot about the troll surgeon. I kept adding he's on this list somewhere. He 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 liked to hand out body parts as a favor. Not allowed to kill vampires with seismic charges. When the other guy picks swords for a choice of weapons, that does not leave me pistols. I cannot use silent feet enabled power word stun and blame it on the dog. I cannot name a character anything I can't politely say in another country. My epic level character cannot take on a minor goblin menace in his country just to say sharp. Not allowed to steal my own soul. My third wish cannot be a wish you wouldn't grant this wish. I cannot name my character cliche canon characters from other systems. My thief is prohibited from speaking solely in cant. Characters' descriptions cannot contain two of the following words. Slavic, tone deaf, karaoke, and musician. My, super, my superhero strength is not classified as snazzy, neato, or bodacious. I'm not too sexy for the elf. Too sexy for the elf. So sexy myself. My third edition Red Wizard is not allowed to start a business named Thaco. I cannot forge a plus one sword of Brad's, Min Max, Paladin, Monk Slaying. 
The following weapons are not legal choices in a duel. Steamroller, nerve gas, landmine, midget. I cannot whine about the crappy selection of magical Bechti Corbins. My paladin's heraldry is not a smiley face. My anti-paladin's heraldry is not Mr. Yuck. If at any point my dwarf takes on the mannerisms of Macho Man Randy Savage, he dies. Oh yeah. If the party always starts at the adventure in a tavern, I can opt to, I cannot opt to start in a brothel. I am not the patron saint of common sense. There is no prestige class Drizzit Slayer. They do not make heavy weapons in pump action. There is an upper limit to the number of bozo booster gangs you can get in a Volkswagen. If the weapon is capable of staking vampires hiding behind engine blocks, I can't have it. No matter my alignment, organizing halfling pit fights is a violation. In formal introductions to royalty, I will not just introduce my care companions as just the other guys. I am not the master of the low blow or the gang up. If I get that Yugo up to 120 miles an hour again, that's going to get some paradox. Druids are not against my religion. I cannot convince the Solo he has a cortex, cortex bomb when he really doesn't. Uh, I cannot insinuate all elf chicks are easy, even though you never hear about a half gnome, do you? I am forbidden from monologuing. Troll bubblegum. Bad idea. My last wish cannot be I wish we were playing another game. I cannot use my time machine to hire Hook, Hitler a hooker in 1920, thus avoiding World War II. Not allowed to spontaneously check if the elf can take a punch. There is no such thing as monofilament tooth floss. I am not allowed to do anything that make a Sith Lord cry. It is not possible to recreate any scene from Doctor Who in Krynos. If I am the med tech, it is generally assumed I have skill in medicine. My character does not get D34 hit points a level. If my Semedi is required to have dots and obfuscate, it means plural, as in more than one, two more than none. My character has no need for 24,000 cartons of cigarettes, especially in his neighbor's garage. Not allowed to use more than three words per game that the game master has to look up the definition of. My bard cannot play or has ever heard of the theremin, didgeridoo, or glass harmonica. My rocker boy cannot play or has ever heard of the theremin, didgeridoo, or glass harmonica. Any character with more than three skills specializing in chainsaw is vetoed. Cannot use the Jedi mind trick to get out of a speeding ticket. Not allowed to give quicklings Mountain Dew. Cannot cast haste on the king during a long-winded speech to get him to hurry the hell up. Not allowed to taunt the rest of the party in eight different languages because they forgot to take any. Not allowed to attend any opera whose name the GM confuses with a strip joint. I cannot keep selling that creepy guy's always naked elf chick to the nomads every chance we get. If the king rewards me with a forest, I am to assume he intends for me to keep it a forest. There is no halfling god of groin shots. If a black op requires me to impersonate an employee, I cannot build the target for overtime. Super, superfluous man is not a viable superhero concept. I am not the boogie woogie bugle boy of Gundam Wing Z. I cannot order the druid to transform and roll out. If the other party members forget to, forget to take any food prep skills, not allowed to let them starve to death. I cannot blow five paradox in a police lineup, the Candy Isle of Kroger's, or the Mist American pageant. I cannot create a superhero that can palm the moon. The following cleric domains do not exist. Wet t-shirts, atheism, or keggers. I cannot wish no one else gets wishes. There is no such thing as skyclad armor plus five. My Highlander's name cannot be McHammer. Gnomes do not have racial bonuses in bobsled. The barbarian's name does not translate into screams like little sissy girl in my language. When the GM forces the plot, I cannot make choo-choo noises. Not allowed to attempt to kill the hut by pouring salt on him. I cannot use the time machine to go to ancient Greece where all the women were leather clad oiled down with big bosoms. It is assumed my mech warrior knows at least what one of the buttons in his cockpit does. At the end of the Black Ops, I cannot crank call C-SWAT on the target's phone. I will not yell Freebird every time the bard makes a perform roll. Mr. Welch is not allowed to speak in third person. My character cannot hear the soundtrack. I cannot derail the adventure for a two-hour in-character in discussion on the qualities of rope. Tracheotomies are best left to characters with medicine. No skills allow specializing in defenestration. No matter how smart I make my animal companion, he still can't take the tax accountant skill. I cannot commune with the gods during peak hours. I must remember at dinner time, rock is not a dwarven legacy. I must remember at dinner time, log is not an elven delicacy. My half ogre cannot surprise the halflings with spontaneous games of dodgeball. Anything the dungeon master has to ponder for the full impact of for more than a minute is forbidden. I cannot base any elf off of any British prime minister. Thermonuclear hand grenades do not exist in any genre except paranoia. I cannot get emotionally attached to any generic nondescript unnamed NPC. Even if laughter is the best medicine, it still doesn't restore any hit points. I have been assured with total certainty Ralph is not a Japanese name. When the commanding officer asks for volunteers, I can't help others make that decision. 
I am not from Margaritaville, and even if I was, that doesn't excuse the Hawaiian t-shirt and the lawn chair during dress inspection. No character of mine can start with 400 previous convictions of any misdemeanor. When asked for advice before a fight, don't wet yourself in public is not what they were looking for. I cannot name my character after another PC already in the game. My character does not have the flaw addiction helium. I cannot figure that the dungeon we were in we cannot figure out that the dungeon we're in is the Pac-Man maze and point it out to the rest of the party. I cannot form a huddle to discuss strategy before facing the final monster in the dungeon. I cannot take all the monsters I've killed to the taxidermist after the adventure. Clown shoes have no place in a dungeon crawl. My dwarf is not claustrophobic. Likewise, my elf is not agoraphobic. When my enemy blinks, it does not give me an attack of opportunity. I cannot t make called shots with a crew-served weapon. I cannot hand out artillery flares to the bad guy on New Year's and tell them they're Roman candles. Sprechen Sie Bang Bang is not real German. I do not get any experience points for anyone I killed by stampeding sheep. I will not give the rebel operatives the code names Han, Luke, Chewie, or Yoda. Well hung is not a physical, social, or mental trait. A gimp suit does not count as leather armor. I cannot gradually describe my character more and more until it's obvious I'm describing Burt Reynolds. My lifelong nemesis is not allowed to be the unsuspecting cleric sitting across the table from me. Anything my character does that ends up as a rata, I am retroactively prohibited from doing. Chaotic evil deities do not have hymnals. Even if he can use them from the start, my barbarian can't specialize in fencing weapons. A Mao suit is not proper garb for Shugenja. I cannot cast invisibility on random household items like car keys, tea sets, or bear traps. I cannot spend all my points on just followers. Even if the rules allow it, I can't start the game as Pope. I am not the son, father, husband, ex-roommate, former professor, or retired garbage man of the villain. My British super spy does not get a re-roll of his seduction check if his shirt gets ripped off. Under religion, I can't put Xenu. My gnome cannot save points on the ride skill simply by asking for piggyback rides everywhere. My character is not allowed to commit su five, is not allowed to commit suicide five minutes into the campaign. My battle cry is not, now young Skywalker, you will die. Vampiric cows are not the fast food innovation of the future. My character does not have the flaw, dark secret. I'm Kilroy. The Sultan doesn't want a treasure bath. The monk's official title is the brother of the Lotus Path, not the slap happy jappy. My bard knows more songs than just I saw your mommy. I cannot start the game with a highly contagious deadly disease. I cannot start the game pregnant. Even if he was a paragon of humanity in his alternate dimension, good Hitler is not an appropriate superhero concept. Cannot accumulate 200 points of flaws for Hackmaster. I am not allowed to decide which one of us is the chosen one. I cannot keep my phaser on disintegrate just because it's the coolest setting. Not allowed to spoil the plot by simply removing the hinges on the door. The halfling paladin does not represent the lollipop guild. I, can, I cannot invoke consecrate weapon on a man of war. I cannot spend character points to buy imaginary friends. I cannot fistinate anyone, whatever the hell that means. Pinball is not a specialization for wizards. When installing cyberware, can install the clapper as a, as a built-in feature. Cannot start call a Call of Cthulhu character with a pre-existing hatred of books, altars, or cutlery. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot control 2,000 pigeons and use them as flying piranha. Any character named El Robotico Jarafe de Fuego is begging to be vetoed. I cannot avoid going on, epic, on an epic quest with the excuse, I can't find a sitter. I cannot start the game married to another, in, another PC without her, their, her consent. Not allowed to declare myself a free agent and start taking offers from other adventuring parties. After the first adventure, I cannot write a tell-all book about the rest of the party. I must remember that royalty do not share the same love of parody as my bard. No matter how much I make my IQ roll by, I can't make the other guy's head explode. I don't have weapon proficiency in elf, either. I most certainly do not have weapon proficiency in phase plasma rifle in 40 watt range. If I'm not the Decker, I can't do anything I saw in Tron once. The rest of the party appreciates it if I don't start the game in cyberpsychosis. Power word beer me is not a real spell. I'm not allowed to buzz anything. Cannot take the skill professional diceist. When I choose my wizards familiar, Belgians are not a legal choice. I cannot pick a destroid that makes the Veritech pilots feel inadequate. Tricking the party into killing each other off and then turning their corpses in for the bounty is frowned upon. My bunk's battle cry is not round one. Fight. No matter how well I roll, a quack skill is not a substitute for the doctor skill. I cannot disassemble a car in under five minutes. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot make a character that gets double XP per game just for showing up. Killing quicklings with marbles only works once. I must, remain, I must remind the Game Master that my Blessed can raise dead before he runs another murder mystery again. It is not feasible for my archer to recreate Hudson's Last Stand. 
it is very unlikely that my half-ogre and the half-elf, half-dragon, tiefling, and asimar have the same dad. When challenged to a big showdown, when challenged to a showdown, I meant to face him at 10 paces with pistols, not 10 blocks with a sharp's big 50. I am to avoid killing, upstaging, or seducing historical characters. I'm not allowed to set, the main, set up the main villain with the mad scientist's sister. Female minot minotaurs do not have udders. This issue is closed. No using excessive firepower to force the plot along. My teleporter cannot stop. Hmm. Uh, lots and lots of dark heresy. Lots of dark heresy. Uh, and let me see. My teleporter cannot stop the alien invasion with just the laws of displacement, laws of motion, and a huge freaking asteroid. Not supposed to stop the soon-to-be cyberpsychosis by disassembling him early in the adventure. What happens in Sigil does not always stay in Sigil. No thinking up new, creative, and fun uses for cursed items. Oh yeah, and uh, Silver Age Sentinels. One of those things got back to him too. Uh, cannot start the game blitzed, even if I was stone sober at the last game break. It is bad form for the queen to see my nipples. I am not allowed to combine the advantage fearless and the disadvantage curious in the same character again. Killing the building does not add to my body count. The barbarian must remember that human shield is a figure of speech. My character is required to have a minimum wisdom of 10. That way I have no excuses. I cannot give my character the moniker, Tim the Barbarian, especially since he's the bard. I am to stop asking the elf to put in a good word for me with Santa. I cannot use the ventriloquism skill to convince the fighter his new sword is, mad, is a magical talking one. Min-maxing for combat is good. Min-maxing for accounting is bad. I can't bet the power gamer he can solo the module. It is not okay to use 10,000 rounds to kill two centuries. The terms Viking and Obstetrician are mutually exclusive. All characters will use the bathroom before the dungeon crawl starts. The following words are not legal for the command spell. Progra prognosticate. Rise. I cannot give magic items super easy command words like is or the and activate when you say them. Pursue means chase after, not just make called shots to the, knee, to the knees. My samurai is not required to commit seppuku if, the, if he fails to hit a monster. My character's background must be more in-depth than a montage of queen lyrics. A starting paladin has no conceivable use for industrial lubricant. I am forbidden to see whether halflings or gnomes bounce higher. If I can fit my head down the gun barrel, I can assume it doesn't have the non-lethal option. If the light spell expires, no lighting the dwarf. I cannot have any weapon that requires me to crank start it first. I will refrain from using wildly, wildly inaccurate high explosive weapons in close quarters. I will not tell new players that first level characters do not have a scent as a defense mechanism. No matter what popular media says, harpoons are not proper ninja weapons. When I have to pick a starting dementia, Stockholm Syndrome is not appropriate. Check the door means listen to it, not put several rounds through it. When a virgin sacrifice is demanded, I will not knowingly look at the paladin, netrunner, or hermetic. No matter how many people I need to feed, I will not use MDC weapons to fish. My rigor does not get a bonus if his login code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. No subcontracting dungeon crawls. I will not name my character for the power gaming campaign, Generic Cleave Pathfighter number 7. The first rule of Finnegan School is do not talk about Finnegan School. I will not blow all of my starting funds on hookers and booze. If I have to sacrifice my fifth dot and resources to afford it, I can't have that gun. I will not cast darkness at the magic missile. If the NPC is on the cover of the rulebook, I can't kill him. It's bad form to shoot a god while he's monologuing. I will not try to skip the main boss. I will not try to skip to the main boss dressed like a singing telegram. The chaotic neutral alignment is forever closed to me. If my stats are strength 10, dex 10, con, constitution 8, intelligence 16, wisdom 17, charisma 15, I better not be the half orc barbarian. My archmage will not join a party running keep on the borderlands as a ringer. I will not substitute accuracy with enthusiasm. The solution to all my problems is not crinos. Steel toed boots do not add to my armor class. Spankings generally will not change evil alignments. For the King is an example of a good battle cry. Smoke the Mother is not. I will not convince the Game Master's noob girlfriend to play a psychotic combat monster. My marital status does not, uh, does not affect in any way my fear checks. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot play a duck. I cannot liven up the adventure show with snappy musical numbers, even if they did it on the TV show. Chainsaws and butter churns filled with bees do not use the same weapon skill. 30 minutes after a massive battle against Cathayans, I am not bloodthirsty again. I cannot do anything I saw Jackie Chan do once, even if I am in a Home Depot at the moment. I will never create a battle pl a plan that first hinges on the invention of Velcro. 
If the character isn't deaf, his only language can't be Amslan. Spray paint is not a, is not a substitute for proper camouflage. We will not implement any battle plan that includes the underlined words and hope they miss a lot. Cannot put anything featuring Calvin on my Starfighter. I will not find a peaceful solution to the adventure just to piss off the power gamer. Never again will I convince a player to keep a character named Stumpy McLonger. No bribing the Dungeon Master's new girlfriend with chocolate so he'll go easy on us. Even if my cleric has the domains of wealth and healing, that doesn't give him the right to start the, an HMO. From now on, my Highlander will refrain from dancing the can-can. The ability to affect or to afflict everyone with 100, in a 150 feet with herpes is not an acceptable superpower. I will not start the game as a toddler just to rack up massive stat bonuses as I age. I am forbidden from trying to merge the best features of automatic weapons and manual transmissions. There is an upper limit on the number of people a bullet will go through. When told to be subtle, a, playing a foul-mouthed chain-smoking squirrel is not a good choice. Zombies are not infectious in D&D, so I should stop shooting PCs in the head when they're bitten. Whether it's fair or not, my thief will not insist we take turns checking for traps. I will not ad admonish my fellow paladin with a little less lawful and a little more good. Ninjas are not ablative. If the NPCs are critical to the plot later, I cannot crit, crit him four times in one round. I will not attempt to unionize the brutes. I will not switch to an entirely new class every time I level. When told to distract the villainess, they didn't mean, a they didn't mean with a surprise marriage proposal. I cannot start the campaign conjoined to another character. Not allowed to convince the entire party to base the group only off of Gary Oldman characters. I will not redefine the term trap door. No staking a vampire with anything larger than his chest cavity. Styrofoam is not an appropriate component for golems. I cannot put my familiar up for stud. I did not invent the wet tabard contest. When I'm in the mood is not a valid trigger for the contingency spell. The vampire clan with vicissitude is not pronounced Carl. I better have a real good excuse for, being, excuse for being a necromancer if I'm lawful good. Tasha's uncontrollably hideous sister, not a real spell. First watch is not for accordion practice. Even if it is hip to be square, I can't play a Modron. Second watch is not for starting up pickup rugby games with wandering monsters. After a successful black ops, I will not leave paint bombs under all the boardroom seat cushions. Third watch is not clothing optional. There is no accidentally slipping a smite evil into a pillow fight. If the party wakes to find a chariot upside down in a fountain, I better not be the prime, usual, or only suspect. If I wake up to find black clagged figures in my room, I will not immediately point them to the halfling's room. Sarcasm is wasted on Imperial stormtroopers. I am not fluent in Jewish, or in gibberish, rather. When my cleric is told to buff the elf, I know exactly what it means and may not construe that in any way. No matter the challenge rating of the monster, no naked pookie dances on victory. Black and Decker does not make prosthetics. Can't trick the rest of the party into babysitting my kids. The alignment of two-year-olds is not automatically neutral evil. I cannot spay the Vargir. Castilians do not always end their sentences with the word Arriba! As a matter of fact, Dwarven bar battle garb in no way resembles Angus Young's stage costume. I will not address Fawner Posen as Javol mein liebe Neffa. I am forbidden from doing anything that ends with snarf, rimshot, or spit takes. No uploading porn to my CEO's uh, heads-up display. No downloading porn from my CEO's heads-up display. If the word mullet appears anywhere on my character, my samurai's character sheet, he's v he's vetoed. My Mossad battle, my Mossad agent's battle cry is not Tora Tora Tora. No matter how tough the encounter was, I will keep the congratulatory ass slapping to a minimum. Halfling mating rituals do not include include beer can crushing, power belching, or Leonard Skinner trivia. If I have to pull out the dun pull out of the dungeon because I'm low on hit points, no filing workman comp. No making up any strange hobbies just to get out of taking watch. Quoting Bob Dobbs while charging into battle is unusual. Quoting Bob Newhart is right out. Quoting Bob Dylan is just silly. If my faith is four and your faith is two, that doesn't mean Jesus loves me twice as much. Beer Boy is not an acceptable hireling for the dungeon crawl. Cannot base any media character off of Milo Bloom. I will not use the time machine to invade Germany on September 2nd, 1939 by surprise, securing Dutch domination of Europe. No supplying my own cans of applause. While the bardic music can increase skill rolls, bad jazz adds nothing to my seduction rolls. If someone in the party has a wisdom or intelligence lower than 8, I am forbidden from talking to them. A firefight is not the best time to tell the party my medtech has a fear of blood. No inventing the minefield. My superhero will not spend points to fly just because he's too lazy to walk. That's number 500, so I'm going to take a drink right now. Mm. 
Yeah, nowadays, if you're low on hit points, you just take a knee for 15 minutes and get back up. Okay, so where was he? 501. Even if playing a game al allows animal characters, Tai Chihuahua is not a good concept. If my character isn't Grimlock, can't start every sentence with me Grimlock. Dwarves do not get beard cancer. If the party is to frequently meet with Queen Victoria, I can't play a Texan. My warrior cleric will not pick his deity based solely on the god's basic attack bonus. Visual joke. 506 is a visual joke. My Viking Scald will not take liberties with the runic alphabet. There's a J between every letter. Okay, 507. My character cannot give another character the alcoholic disadvantage during play. I will not, not tell the newbie to roll his Thaco. I will not base my superpowers off of Christ, even if my character is nothing like him. After a bloody battle, I will not celebrate by laying down and making carnage angels. When my character demands to know what my character is doing, it better not be the Charleston. The nationality of my favorite soccer team does not add to my brawl skill. Trying to rip the face off of the villain will not get the Scooby-Doo ending. No giving my Roman gladiator the short disadvantage in, the short disadvantage in naming him Minimus. I am not the Lord of Rodley Might. Not allowed to name my characters Grimlock. I cannot make called shots to their self-esteem. Affirmative action does not require me to play a drow. Dual-wielding party members is frowned upon. Under no circumstances is my medical droid allowed a groin-mounted rectal thermometer. I will not convince the entire party to play Amish for the cyberpunk campaign. Not allowed to parry at the wrist. When I'm rescued, the correct response is thank you, not took your freaking time. I will not ask my gun for advice. Running a non-stop Rocky Horror Fest for staked vampires is outside the budget for most Semeti. If an NPC is known as The One, I will not volunteer to be The Two. Even if the rules allow it, I can't spend $64,000 to get the Vorpal option for a forklift. I cannot buy every single advantage during character creation. My character is not from Duncan, Idaho. I cannot earn bonus XP for catching air with a main, with a main battle tank, so stop trying. No making up gnomish sub-races. Despite being a staple of comic books everywhere, I cannot teleport objects in front of naked people. I cannot increase my comeliness by growing, growing a porn stash. When I level up, I just can't copy the guy next to me's choices. I cannot make a dungeon crawl easier by opening a rival dungeon and hiring away all of his guards. Uh, if a power gamer joins our crew, I will not billet him in the newly furnished auxiliary airlock. Okay, just got a warning message from YouTube. Not a big one, though. Okay. The cause disease spell cannot inflict nitrogen narcosis. Even if I spend the points, I cannot start married to any of the X-Men. Defensive perimeter traps my character sets up are automatically party knowledge. A full minute of stunned silent means, my god, what did you do? Not please continue. When prompted for a target by the guided missile, the naughty bits is not a valid choice. No, I, no, I do not have time to carve that mountain into the shape of anything. There is more to buying rations than ramen, spam, and beer. I will not cast gate to bind an infernal creature of power to my bidding and make him mow the lawn. No going 100% tracer round on the heavy machine gun just because I like the pretty colors. Dead party members, while effective, are not appropriate anti-grenade measures. The perform skill does not apply to the following. Performance art, spoken word, or fan dances. I cannot have a what would AO do bracelet. It is not physically possible to cook off an accordion. Dwarves can indeed tell the difference between their genders. Can't install Lojack on the dragonkin. If my wife, if my character's drow wife finds out that I let her niece appear on a Gnomes Gone Wild video, my death will not even warrant a saving throw. No matter how well I make my disguise check, my gnome cannot convincingly pass for any member of Rush. Even though armor gives him no benefit, my monk still has to wear something. I will stop snickering every time the monk announces that he's touching someone with his quivering palm. Even though I'm the ranger, I can't stalk the elf babe. If they get a bonus to spot my gun with a Geiger counter, I can't have it. There is no take your daughter to work day for adventurers. Even if the, off even if the ranger offers his sword, the elf his bow, and the dwarf his axe, my gnome can't offer his accordion. Can't hire a sentient black pudding to be the ship's janitor. I can't play a deep gnome just to make the rest of the party have to pronounce Sferf Neblin. Pass without trace doesn't work on bad checks. I can't make anyone Jewish with a called shot. The Lutherans don't have an Inquisition. My vampire hunter can't have anything he saw on an infomercial at 3 a.m. on PBS. When confronted with a haunted house with bleeding walls, no converting it into a self-supporting blood bank. I cannot consult my lawyer before making my wish. My first wish cannot be, I wish you grant all of my wishes to the spirit and letter of the wish. All three of my wishes cannot involve alpacas. The DM does, want to know, does not want to know how my human fighter is triple weaving, 
triple-wielding scimitars. I will not secretly maze the wizard's familiar, druid's companion, or paladin's mount just for a laugh. Even if the rules say otherwise, I cannot carry 100 pounds of styrofoam without encumbrance penalties. Impre improved in evasion does not work against save versus DM. Get dressed quickly in the dark is not an advantage, bonus, benefit, feat, skill, perk, or merit. Even if I'm a near-immortal demigod with the power to create entire world worlds with a thought, it's still bad to throw a party when your dad's away without permission. Cannot use my sneak attack opportunity to cop a feel. No matter how stupid the PCs comment, it does not provide an attack of opportunity. Rectomancy is not a school of magic. Pimp My Death Star is not a real show, and I better believe that Grand Moff Tarkin knows this. A sledgehammer does not give any skills to my search for secret doors roll. No filling the paladin stocking with coal on Christmas to make him wonder what he's got to atone for. I can't thwart the Rebel Alliance's attack with the newly invented manhole cover. Can't intimidate the evil wizard just by constantly summoning big and bigger versions of what he just summoned. On second thought, a Minotaur Architect is a really bad idea. No using psychic powers before the adventure to figure out who to take life insurance out on. Cannot spend extra money to get the optional flay setting for my pistol. No taunting the first level magic item magic user with the words Mighty Bold Talk for a guy with only four hit points. Paladins are immune to STDs, but if I take advantage of this ability, I lose it. Wonderful paradox, isn't it? If my gun is on, on a scale of 1 to 10 as a 7, it's veto if that's the Richter scale. I can't convince the rival party our Q ship is just named that because it's piloted by John Delancey. Defibrillators do not allow me the use of the cleave feat. No matter how well I roll, other PCs cannot be haggled into paying me to perform errands for them. Tensor's herniated disc is not a real spell. True to fluff or not, my berserker cannot take the beekeeping skill. I cannot pick a race with a prehensile anything. No dual-wielding whips until I at least have proficiency with them. The party does not need to know about the time I woke up duct taped to the back of a drow matron mother. Any adventure that ends up with my character being worshipped as an orc god was just a dream, retroactively if need be. Cannot start the new adventure with me trying to run down whoever didn't show up for the last adventure. Even if I'm a wizard, I can't apply embarrassing tattoos to the NPC. If we run out of cannonballs, armadillos will not do in a pinch. Find familiar scrolls are not a substitute for the hunting skill. I cannot have any gun mentioned by the Geneva Convention by name. If my alignment forbids torture, that includes gnomish poetry slams. Even if this is, a, is an adventuring party, I cannot show up to the adventure drunk and only wearing a toga, lampshade, and a half-elf stripper. If my power is super growth, that includes my skin. An in-scale tuba player is not an appropriate miniature for my gnome bard. The answer to who's got point is not the fireball. No deity will let me use my nipples as holy symbols. I cannot name my character the Dwed Pai with Wobbits. No initiating social challenges based on the color of the werewolf shoes. Every time a PC takes him out through his own stupidity does not let me sing the Oompa Loompa song. I can't have a magic item I can't request with a straight face. My superhero tank must be height weight proportionate. Let me see. One close call with a mimic does not give me the right to attack every door I come across. Even if they are the same cliched acid for blood aliens, I can't load my shotgun with baking powder. The forehead is not an appropriate place for a kill count tattoo. No matter how much my humanity loss, a chainsaw is not a substitute for a bayonet. No matter what the dice say, I can't kill a fourth gen vampire with a pump action shotgun loaded with buck in a single round. My blessed does not have the hindrance Aelin, stigmata. No offering the old man and the farm, and the farm kid a better rate to Alderaan. Paladins make fi poor Vikings, and vice versa. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot play a dire gummy bear. When asked what my character is doing, it better not be the Vita Kinetic. I must remember before the next time I shave off the sleeping dwarf's beard and glue it to the sleeping elf, wars have been started that way. Dwarves are not, pro dwarves are proper, not proper substitutes for pufferfish. If the GM decides that my character dies from a stroke, it, my, my, the GM decides if my character dies from a stroke, not me. I cannot use audible glamour to trick the cleric into building an arc. Just because they're all into rock, metal, and axes, dwarves are not all headbangers. Replacing the solo's bullets with blank so he comes in dead last in body count isn't funny. Medicine cabinets are not the best place to stash spare squeeze tubes of explosive putty. When asked to tutor someone on his defense trait, I just can't keep punching him until he gets it. When told to choose my weapon in a duel with the assassin, can't pick his weapon. Can't recreate any scene from 2001 Space Odyssey that involves women long women's lingerie. Arguments cannot end with the statement, Alright, we'll settle this like penguins. Recon means 
T t recon means tell them what I saw, not slaughter all the monsters without them. German characters do not get uh, four racial bonuses uh, to intimidate French characters. The Deem is not impressed with me spoiling his well-planned ambush by just casting Glass Sea on the door. Before hiding with all the werewolves to, set, to ambush the Setite, make sure that he didn't leave the LARP four hours ago. Even if he loves me too, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is not the appropriate choice for the romance background. Casual attire does not include shoulder holsters. My grandma was, is, was not, is not, and never will be a contract killer. Even if the rules allow it, I can't gain 1 million XP with a forged check. No matter how much moose I use, my hair will never have damage resistance. No matter how high my faith skill, still can't take God as an ally. If the game store owner goes into vapor lock, the adventurer is owner. Any answer involving the any answer to a question involving the words wizard, st station wagon, wood paneling is no. Can't marry off another PC more than a dozen times. Zero body count does not mean just the ones they can find. Knolls don't fall for the fake ball trick more than once. My alignment is not sarcastic good. My fighter cannot take the flaw, addiction, stabbing things. Cannot wish for the party to have common sense. Even the, even the wish spell has limits. If the party goes into my room and finds a diva wearing only baby oil, oven mitts, and spurs, they can start the module without me. When asked my position in the party, it's not whatever's closest to Bangkok. A crayon is typically going to cause a penalty for my forgery skill. Can't put a glass bottom on my tank so I can see the looks on their faces. Changing sexes is restricted to male or female. Quoting ministry lyrics is not standard operating procedure for the gladius day. Walmart is, my, is not my one-stop shopping place for hunting vampires. The line on my character sheet for sex is not for keeping score. My paladin will stop referring to her detect evil power as evil dar. Even if I just rolled 832d6 for damage, I still can't get a bonus to my intimidate chick. check. Unlike real life, I don't get the whirlwind attack to smack all my back-talking children. My World War II era mad scientist will pick a new target for his project other than Manhattan. When offered a draconizing item of my choice, I can't pick nunchucks. No matter what the dice say, I did not just decapitate an aberrant with a straight razor. ATST soccer games are strictly against army uh, Imperial Army protocols. Cannot name Boba Fett as the godparent to any of my children. While I'm fixing the X-Wing, the brash pilot is still miffed about the Y-Wing loner. House Curita mech warriors do not appreciate posters of Godzilla taped over their optical sensors. Teleport without pants is not a real spell. It is not necessary to install, install a portcullis in every single room of the castle. When deciding what to do with the ancient alien artifacts we discovered, eBay is not an option. Even if the rules allow it, I can't take the identical twin advantage 22 times. My character's primary purpose in the party is not, to, is not just to leech one-sixth of all the XP. Elves do not have the racial trait, no gag reflex. Distract the bad guy does not mean with the recreation of the Apollo landing. I do not have the time in the Black Ops for breakdancing, Greco-Roman wrestling, or phone sex. My axe doesn't go off accidentally when I'm cleaning it. Even if he is a total blast, I can't channel Baron Smeddy at the coming out ball. Can't make a called shot with a flamethrower. After finishing the new boss is the villain adventure, can't file for unemployment. My mummy can't take out multiple life insurance policies on himself and name himself as the primary beneficiary. The game of chicken does not involve the polymorph spell. My vampire hunter does not take the un out of undead. I cannot backstab anyone with a Buick Skylark. Even if the rules allow it, my paladin cannot have the flaw hatred all living things. The combat feats I can use with a battering ram are extremely limited. Morden Kanan's dysfunctional family is not a real spell. No matter what the kids say, animated balloon animals is a poor use of the create golem feat. The Dr. Jones School of Sword Fighting is not an appropriate swordsman school. There is no conspiracy to write out the gnome's contribution in the Fellowship of the Ring. Search the old castle means enter it, not level it with artillery and dig through the rubble. Buying the elf babe a trampoline and telling her it boosts her dexterity isn't fooling anyone. Any plan involving strapping puppies to my armor is vetoed. No accidentally cross-wiring the X-Wing's fire control and ejection suite seat switches. During the Black Ops, no ex accessing the target's HR files and getting the, bo the babe's phone numbers. FedEx does not deliver to the keep on the borderlands. Not allowed to use basic economy, basic economics to crash the evil empire's economy by spending all of my swag there at once. Cannot take the, the moniker hyper polysyllabic sesquipedalianist. The banana of disarming is not a real magic item. I can't sharpen Iun's stones for increased headbutt damage. No using my hideously low charisma to get the villain to do the, the opposite of what I suggest. 
I need to stop using my reality altering ability to make everyday Mardi Gras. I cannot base my barbarian after Wink Martindale. A throat punch does not give a bonus to an, in a contested philosophy check. My paladin's mini is vetoed it's, uh, if it's obviously pop private Drake from Aliens. Any plan is vetoed if it was obviously inspired by Boromir. My info gathering mission must include info that wasn't obviously obtained in a brothel. If almost all the words in my character's background start with the same letter, he's vetoed. When told to leave a trail for the rest of the party to follow, they didn't mean cigarette butts. If the rule, even if the rules allow it, can't sink a battleship with a stapler. I do not get a bolt discount on ninjas. Even if the rules allow it, I can't invent the strip joint. I cannot play a race the GM can't pronounce. I cannot start the game in post-apocalyptic Poland driving a Porsche. Warnings given retroactively in battle aren't appreciated. A fluffy tail does not add to my comeliness if I'm already one foot tall, furry, and a squirrel. Don't have to include the line and then stab them a lot in the plans. It's already assumed. Even if my superpower is invisibility, I still have to provide a model for my character. Can't intentionally fail all of my secret door checks so I don't have to play Tomb of Horrors again. If my character is related to a god, it can't be as apparent. The time machine is not for finishing off my set of disciple autographs. No, there is not a Mr. of Ark. No, I still can't hit on her. My Black Ops experience does not include panty raids and beer runs. Cannot single-handedly make Starfleet Academy the number one party school in the Alpha Quadrant. Not legal to retroactively challenge anyone I just shot to a duel. Cannot take the flaw obsession elf chick's lingerie. No part of the plan includes you give me the idol, I give you the whip. No matter, no matter how many called shots to the neck I make, I'm not, still not going to cause a cool pyrotechnics display. Not allowed to trade in my X-Wing for a Gunstar. Cannot make a plan that hinges on the villain first being allergic to peanuts. My character's background cannot be a Wikipedia biography with Falco crossed off and my character's name written in. Adding hydraulics to my R2 unit does not automatically give him an intimidate bonus. No taking the party to character just because my character was, has a thing for Asian chicks. Will not color code everything on the ship just to piss off the Varger. Though highly educational, no more slipping the anti-paladin sodium pentothal. Can't make the Black Ops super easy by sending a couple of strippers to the guardroom first. Not allowed to give my character a name from the Bushman clink, click language. Not allowed to tip, tap a keg for mana. Apparently chaotic angry and neutral hungry aren't real alignments either. Even if the rules allow it, can't take out a main battle tank with a shotgun loaded with slug. My second wish can't be for a new, more open-minded genie, genie to, rem, to grant the remainder of my wishes. Can't wish I was the GM. No making up holidays for my cleric. Can't just walk the obstacle course, even though I beat everyone who tried to run it. Holding a pillow over a sleeping person's face is not a gnomish expression of affection. There is not a spent clip fairy. A bag of holding is a bad place to stash bear traps, badgers, or crushed glass. If the party has to pose as classical German composers, I will not declare I'll be Bach. Cannot take the spedum as my favorite weapon just because it sounds dirty. No encouraging Swedish accents. Even if the rules give no maximum encumbrance, we still can't pick up the bank and walk away with it. There is a reason no game has pasties in its starting equipment list. The power armor skill does not have a cascade skill dance. I will not build a character with a skill from every single expansion book. Not allowed to take a toad for a familiar just for its pharmaceutical properties. Restricted to one blue chip per for humor for humor per game. Not allowed to use the time machine to rename famous historical discoveries after myself. Not allowed to forge the 1.1 ring. Fighters can't put points in perform just so he can hammer dance after each fatal critical hit. No slipper, no slipping the juicer Ritalin. In the middle of a chase in a commandeered car, can't spend an action to change the radio presets. Can't parry a called shot to the face. No more crazy Ivans while I'm driving the ATAT. -AT. When challenging, when challenged to a high noon shootout, that means in the time zone that I'm currently in. Burning my bard CD on C burning my bard song on CD and putting it on repeat does not mean the effect never ends. Before turning undead, I will make sure the assassin didn't take the vampire template. My mythos investigator doesn't talk in his sleep. Mashed potatoes do not add to my damage resistance. Not allowed to base a paladin off of Lee Marvin. My great axe privileges can be taken away. If I've leveled up five times to the Dragonkin's none, that doesn't mean I'm lapping him. My investigator's motto is not 99% mythos lore, 1% sanity. Don't push me. 
even if it was obvious and obviously in self-defense, my character is not allowed to kill George Takai. Taekwon Doberman is not a real martial art. It is not possible to bioengineer a kosher pig. Even if we are in Ravenloft, my paladin can't go up ten levels in one night. When I am told I have to join the RPGA to play in a game, I can't sign the membership card D Doc. My paladin's trial by combat ritual is not best described as Calvin Ball without with axes. My paladin's job is not to enforce happiness. The following are, is also not iron, acceptable Iron Claw characters. Mortal Wombat, Dalai Lama, and Boomerangatang. Monks do not make three stooges sounds in combat. Even if the rules allow it, I can't shoot 20 guys in one round with a musket. No, I can't keep the drow priestess we just found as a pet. Start a career in modeling is not an appropriate use of the suggestion spell. You take the scary one is not the default battle strategy. Even if, it's for, even if it's for his own safety, can't secretly remove the firing pin from the power gamer's guns. If I have access to warm water, I don't take watch unsupervised. Not allowed to give any birthday gift to a child that immediately earns me a dark side point. Despite the, Wook, the movie's claims, Wookiees get no racial bonus for chess. When building a superhero, I can't spend half his points on radar, radar sense and the other half on cooking. Pre-gen characters do not have cutesy nicknames, even if their real names are pretty lame. Improved evasion is not solid proof duck and cover works. In the middle of a black ops, can't lock a, lock a bunch of long-haired molting cats into the CEO's office. In, if in the middle of our dressing down our CEO strike, strokes out, we took the joke too far. Not allowed to use guppies as buckshot. Can't hunt drow with a spotlight and a 30 odd 6. The default response to a social challenge in any game is not just to shoot them. We do not settle, settle disputes in paper, rock, scissors with a game of vampire. Fake eye spots on my helmets do not help intimidate the monster. If my personal carried firepower exceeds that of the battleship Texas, there's a problem. I cannot take the dementia obsession counting things if, if I'm not a Malkavian. On second thought, I can't even take that even if I am a Malkavian. My characters do not have a noticeable impact, positive or negative, on a town's population. Large dice are for rolling, not for sound effects. Covering fire does not include nuclear weapons. I don't earn the bonus XP for a written background if it's just a summary of the plot to Dig Dug. While the party is off searching for secret doors, can't position the slain orcs in compromising positions. I see. Uh, in the middle of a black ops, can't reprogram the cleaning droids to wax the floors for 12 hours straight. I don't have to take a lower level bard adventuring as my opening act. Taking the orc warlord's skull as a trophy is acceptable, not as a hand puppet. Uh, let me see. Sending a villain a nymp stripper only works once. Someone doesn't accidentally fall on two dozen shanks. The adventure wrap-up is the epilogue, not Miller time. Can't challenge anyone to a dance-off. To the death. Augmenting their psi means their mental powers, not their air pressure. Taking each class as I level in alphabetical order is forbidden. Even if the rules allow it, my paladin can't serve as the god of obituaries. My sorcerer will not take a level in druid just to make it easier to get to the flammable stuff. If everyone in the room is in black leather, we're in the thieves' guild, not a fetish club. Even if it's infinitely useful, absolute power over elastics is not an appropriate superpower. The backup trap handler is not the guy with the lowest intelligence. I cannot have braces of brachiation until, the D, until I tell the DM what brachiation actually means. Elves do not respond to chainsaws the same way dogs re react to vacuum cleaners. My battle mech does not play Dixie every time I hit the jump jets. Even if the mage critically fumbles his stealth check, I can't threaten to bleed him slow. Despite the song's claim, a pelvic thrust does not cause sanity loss. Even if we are in Sweden, I can't use one blanket seduction check on the entire crowd. I didn't accidentally forget to buy skills. I will not run up my bar tab and then skip out leaving the DM super NPC to fo foot the bill. Overrunning a larger army is not a glorious victory if it happened at 3 a.m. and they were still in bed. I will stop reminding Elminster that he's not as cool as Merlin, Gandalf, or that shape-changing wizard from Crawl. I cannot lure out the psycho killer into an ambush by having sex with another character. No paraphrasing the party leader's elaborate plan is pick someone you don't like and let them know it. Even if the rules allow it, I can't take the first armored division as an ally. It doesn't matter how, much, how high my influence is, I can't make Carmen Miranda hats part of the unit's dress code. In the middle of a black ops, no inserting a memo into the target, computers, the target computer mandating clothing optional Mondays. 
Even if it would have immediately solved the last six adventures, I won't throw dynamite in every well I come across. No more tricking rookies into putting whoopee cushions on Lord Vader's throne. When handed deities and demigods and told to pick a god for my druid, I will skip right past the Cthulhu mythos. It doesn't matter how high its hit points or damage reduction are, we aren't sending the dwarf into battle via catapult. As a matter of fact, Jeopardy does screen for telepaths. It is not a good idea to taunt Greek heroes with who's your daddy. It doesn't matter if it's an anime-style game. I don't get bonuses to hit with eye pokes. Polymorph Mother-in-Law is not a real spell. The Cairn is not Disney World as if run by coyotes. The FBI tend to notice when people buy several miles of hamster tubing all at once. Doesn't matter how practical. We are not, anim we are not reanimating the dead dragon having him haul the horde back for us. When plumbing the depths of depravity, I must remember to come up for air. Any superhero offensive to more than two major religions is vetoed. If I am faced with yet another get a Fenris Lupus Arun, I will not refer to him as Cliché Guevara. I will not take the, we will not take the dead dryad with us to use as kindling. We will not keep reincarnating the bugbear until he comes back as something we can actually eat. A funeral is not a proper place for new fashion trends. I will not disbelieve the magic mouth before he gives out the important plot information. Even if it is hours of entertainment, I can't feed the red tail and peanut butter. I will concede we're on a dungeon crawl and stop trying to talk to the monsters. Under religion, I cannot put Born Again Klingon. I will not use undocumented zombie workers to help build my castle. Bigby's offensive finger is not a real spell. Even if there is no alignment in Traveler, giving feuding technological level 1 tribes, technological level 12 weapons, and putting the results on pay-per-view is just wrong. My doctor's bag will contain more than a bone saw and a bottle of whiskey. I do not put the cat in decadent or the raven depraved. Even if it's catchy, I do not have to yell my battle cry every time I roll to attack. We can't all play barks just to relive our favorite spinal tap moments. I cannot have a gun with an area of effect larger than its range. Richard Simmons is not an appropriate role model for a get of Fenris. I will not use my vast personal knowledge of Dublin, Texas to get an unfair advantage in the campaign. My halfling cannot take the flaw obsession ring of invisibility. Any gun that sets off the metal detector before I even pass through it is vetoed. I will not combine thermographic sights on a gun that shoots through the walls. It makes Black Ops too easy. After cleaning out Ravenloft, when it's, time, when it's my turn to pick treasure, can't call dibs on the castle. If my superhero has healing factors, claws, combat sense, and longevity, he can't take the flaw total pacifist. If I want to play a rampaging Nordic warrior and, and instead get handed a tree-hugging elf hippie, I can't play her like a rampaging Nordic warrior. Even if I am playing a chick, I can't spend all my starting cash on shoes. Rifts in the time-space continuum are not for my personal amusement. Buying a bigger gun does not restore sanity. Searching the dead PC for spell components is okay. Using him for spell components is not. Any character that can run the two-minute mile is vetoed. I will not convince the party to name all the characters the same thing. I do not need to see proof of insurance before making a medtech roll. Customs doesn't care what my charisma bonus is. Halflings do not store their food in their cheeks for winter. Elves are not deciduous. Despite evidence to the contrary, half-elves do not automatically go both ways. Breast-enhancing spells gain no benefits from metamagic feats. I will not try to regain sanity by nailing the reporter chicken public. Dwarves do not get roto-rooters as racial weapons. I will not brag too loudly that I am the real reason behind the sinking of the Titanic. Cultists tend to notice if you've replaced their summoning ritual with jitterbug instructions. Invisibility is all or nothing. You can't just target their clothes. I can't just keep buying rounds of drinks until everyone passes out so I can rob them. I will not miss the final epic battle just because I crit my seduction check. Polish is not a sub-dialect of gnomish. Any action causing the power gamer to storm off, while actually appreciated, is frowned upon. Healing people of other faiths gets a penalty in Deadlands, not Serenity. I will not have the architect build my castle using hexadecimal base to screw with the power gamer. I will not fill the bag of holding with dirt just so we can fill in pit traps as we detect them. In the middle of the Black Ops, the diversion is not blowing off the top 20 floors of the building. Can't set the bad guy on fire until after I've blown the persuasion check. If I fail to make a bluff check, can't shoot them to change it into an intimidate check. Not possible to fire a gun with your teeth. Humming the James Bond theme in the middle of a Black Ops does not give me any bonuses. They make plate mail in a variety of styles. Crotchless is not one of them. I can't use my attack bonus as a substitute for the skill Hibachi Chef. 
I can't take telekinesis as my auxiliary mode just to get free food from the snack machine. Dual wielding spike chains does not let me scream the battle cry, Danger, Will Robinson, Danger. I will not convince the entire party to play Rocker Boy so we can be a Europe cover band. I cannot take a level of monk just for tone. Droogy is not a starting language. After casting my f one first level spell, can't leave the dungeon to go back to sleep. Can't bribe the biokinetic to take the drug test for me. On second thought, let's not disguise the Wookiee in Stormtrooper uniforms. A runic facial tattoo is acceptable for my Berserker, not a Betty Boop tattoo. Having one point in every single skill in the game doesn't count as a superpower. Can't clean out the dungeon by renting the, adja uh, the adjacent dungeon and just being as obnoxious as possible. My goldfish do not get a bonus in a stare down. My mech gunner can't have a nude pinup of his, in his cockpit, especially if it's of his pilot. But she's hot is not an acceptable excuse for my black ops solo dating the tabloid reporter. No matter how hard we look, we're not going to find the secret door leading to the back of the villain's hideout. Druids do not hibernate. Before I make my next wish, I have to ask myself, is this going to shatter the very fabric of reality again? Any gun that can fire more rounds in one shot than I can physically carry is vetoed. If given a stock NPC, I must play him as written. So Jar Jar has to lose the serape and the cigar. I do not get a bulk discount at the Jenny's Guild. The flaw, odious personal habit teleports into romantic moments is only available at the maximum penalty. Telekinetic redheaded chick is not a real superhero. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot circumnavigate the world on foot in one turn. There are no alignment restrictions on becoming a lawyer. Nowhere in the Bible does it say ninjas have to line up on a straight line to fight me. If escorting a high-priority target, I can't bioscope the entire team to look just like her. Nerve gas complicates fast talk rolls. Can't take the shape of any animal the, the GM doesn't know. The power of Christ compels me does not justify my blessed actions. I cannot take life insurance out on everyone I have for the enemy background. Psychotherapy does not el eliminate the alignment change penalty. Just because I, I've hit name level does not automatically give me groupies. I will not abuse the exemplary virtue to set up highly choreographed routines with random crowds. In the middle of a black ops, I cannot make an educational video. We do not need an elf on this dungeon crawl for the same reason miners need canaries. I am not Bjorn of Borg. Before accepting a harem for an award with, for my heroism, I need to check with the wife first. I don't get any equipment before the, the game master can Google it. If, Astra if Australia doesn't exist, I can't use my Australian accent even if I am playing a space koala. I can't bet the power gamer he can't field strip the grenade faster than me. Even if the rules allow it, I can't catch, catch, I can't catch dropped cannonballs with my teeth without drawbacks. I cannot make my castle's walls 9x9x9 nine 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 to keep out the gelatinous cubes. The ability to give superpowers to characters is acceptable. Naming the character Captain Franchise is not. The most important stat in Call of Cthulhu is not movement. Kiefer Sutherland does not make numerous cameos in my character's background telling him that he's destined for greatness. No matter how high my strength, I still can't use the wall as a shield. I will not convince the entire party to play identical copies of the same character on the grounds as it were sextuplets. No matter his age, my bard can't start a boy band. Despite the, ha the halberd being six feet long, it still can't hit monsters more than five feet away. Even though it's been more than two hours since we left the bar, the dwarf isn't getting the DTs. No matter how practical, I can't have shotgun chucks. The town drunk is not our one-stop source for all our mythos happenings in every single town. I cannot base my Call of Cthulhu character off the lead character in Sling Blade. Even if I am pissed for working on my birthday in the middle of the Black Ops, I will stop referring to my commanding officer only by his first name. If I don't have an instrument for my bardic song, an air mandolin will not suffice. After critting with a cannon, we can't dump a barrel of gunpowder over the gunner's mate. Elves aren't marsupials. Even if we're freezing to death, I won't cut open the half-orc and shove the elf inside of him. Using precognition on the personals to find out who puts out on a first date is abusing the power. There is no such thing as a tequila golem. A paladin with a British accent is acceptable. One with a Peter Lorre accent isn't. When I'm allowed to, buy a, when I'm allowed to use a, get a bunny as a familiar, that doesn't include Ava Fabian. I will not make a superhero that requires a graphing calculator to create. I cannot take the flaw, enemy, random packs of wild dogs. Threesome is not a specialty of the seduction skill. Shotguns are not a traditional part of Texas funerals. If shortchanged at the Hong Kong deli, I will call the manager, not roll for initiative. There is something wrong with a second level kamikaze. I was not issued a flamethrower for my own personal amusement. 
Disable plot device is not a real skill. Nowhere in the plan does Franco go in where the others have been. Moomoos do not appear in the starting equipment list for a reason. As a matter of fact, a 90-foot-tall hostile pineapple is far more terrifying than a dragon. My last wish cannot be for Ragnarok. Trailblaze mean find, means find a path, not cut down every tr tree between here and there. Elves do not take 1d3 plus 1 minutes for their entire menstrual cycle. In the middle of a Black Ops, I cannot moonlight as tech support. Even if it isn't in the rules, I still have to use the same scale miniature as everyone else. I cannot switch miniatures between each combat. Even if, uh, even if we're starving, can't suckle the elf chick. David Bowie cannot cast glitter dust at will. This issue is also closed. When asked to describe my character, I can leave out the hickeys. If, a, if he botches his medicine roll, I can't sue the med, the med tech for malpractice. Kill the wabbit is not, a pripe, is not a proper Viking battle cry. The rest of the party would appreciate it if I didn't take the Munchausen syndrome by proxy as a flaw. Even if the rules allow it, I can't empty out the entire castle for a week with just a cherry bomb. Corporate pop whore is not a real prestige class. Drakkar heart gouger is not a proper name for a paladin. Dwarves can't take trees as their favorite enemy. I can't beat on the drow until he admits his name is Toby. The script for Baywatch does not cause more sanity loss than the Necronomicon. I cannot train squirrel mobs to abuse the grapple rules. And I will stop referring to the power gamer as Min Maximus. Alright, that's a thousand. Well, it's time for another drink. Or two, because my voice is starting to feel it. Okay. Alright, so where are we? 1,001. Not even halfway there. Okay, no matter how bad the game is going, I won't straddle the table like Sillin Pickens right in a bomb. Foam Finger of Death is not a real spell. I cannot start with an armor class higher than my actual age. Not permitted to die from essence loss during character creation. Even if I bought the book at Walmart, I don't get it discounted on, on advantages. If I take the poison immunity advantage, that doesn't include radiation. That whole expedition to the barrier peaks? Dream sequence. Texans do not get revolvers as a racial weapon proficiency. No matter how many points I put into the skill, can't use sword swallowing to parry. Stone giants don't have heat sinks. Even if we aren't face, even if we are facing Yon team, my battle cry, cry cannot be Cobra. Note to self: lightsaber chucks, bad idea. The expressive dance skill is not a substitute for language skills. I will stop blaming every massacre we come across on Decepticons. Despite what the rules say, berserking does not improve my aim. Even if the spells are use them or lose them, I will not waste meteor swarms on a goblin. I will not lay siege to Cinderella's castle. Elves do not get Viking funerals. Even if we have more ammo than fuel, I still have to cut down the tree with the chainsaw, not the heavy machine gun. If we have to add a new P uh, player character mid-campaign, he doesn't have to pass a drug test first. Can't use the Jedi mind trick to convince the stormtroopers the droids over there are the droids they're looking for. Can't start the game with 24 hours to live. The bluff skill is no substitute for actually knowing the spell. Slings make poor thongs, and vice versa. If I have two cyber arms, they have to be on different sides. My character cannot gain a level through nepotism. I will not use the D20 system to test the validity of any Kennedy assassination theory. My character has mastery level in singing. I do not. I will not convert to Elastrae just so I can watch naked drow chicks getting their groove on. No matter how much he pisses me off, I will not raise the barbarian's dead mother-in-law. Just because my superhero game has 18 stats and yours only has 3, doesn't mean mine is 6 times better. Monofilament does not automatically make the place a, a world a better place. Holding a hand crossbow sideways gangsta style does not an, uh, add to my intimidate check. Even if I wait for the ninjas to jump at me, I can't crucify him with a repeating crossbow in a single round. If at any point in his lifespan my character can clear out every single K of chaos in one single round, he's vetoed. My druid can't summon or change into a skunk. No, seriously, it's not allowed in the rulebook. Kangaroos are poor substitutes for tauntauns. There is no such thing as a Viking-assisted suicide. Jury summoning is not a real spell. I cannot name my character anything that was suggested by Tom Servo. Doesn't matter if I'm just using it to spot weld, force lightning still gets me a dark side point. Erasing the compass on the map and redrawing it in reverse does not mean the villain will start building his evil real railroad backwards. Ninjas do not have a hive mind. No matter how much ammo I start with, I can't impact the total world supply. We will not gut every animal to see if they still have treasure inside like video games do. 
We can't stabilize the dying villain before we make our escape in case he was a load-bearing villain. If my troll is the smartest character in the party, the entire party is vetoed. I will not attempt to overdose on Rogaine so I can disguise myself as a rookie, a Wookiee. I can't summon anything in Monster Manual 4 just so I can take a bathroom break while the Dungeon Master looks it up. If the weapon has the three-handed trait, I don't get a sidekick just for the extra hand. As a matter of fact, the high and tight buzz cut doesn't exist in Exalted. I am not automatically eliminated from the crappy module if I guess the wrong murderer like in Clue, so I should stop making random accusations. See, I was not raised by a pack of feral ironclads. I will stop. I will call the elf druid by his impossibly long real elf name, not, and not just Lana War Leaf Blower. I will also not refer to the elf druid as that dirty, dirty hippie. There is no such thing as, as a dwarven battle perm. Canadian is not a real language. When I get to the weapons, uh, the custom weapons creation section, I will just keep turning those pages. Even if the villain is lawful evil, slapping a cease and desist order on him isn't going to work. Woohoo! 100 viewers. Thanks, guys. Uh, if I, I will go into the villain's lair and take him out the old-fashioned way, not just outside of his fa not wait outside of his favorite bar with a rifle. In the middle of a black ops, I do not have time to put a banana in the exhaust port of their AV-9. Even if I think of something the Demi Lich isn't immune to, he's immune to it. Even if my character says otherwise, I can't max out the party with Delta-class cyberware immediately after character generation. Even if I can prove at least half a dozen practical uses for it, I can't have a slip and slide for the dungeon crawl. If we are playing in the New Republic era, I can't call dibs on Boba Fett's armor. If the G Game Master's wife is in the party, I'm not allowed to hunt anything cute. I do not get to, to put remote detonate. I have, excuse me. I do not get to put remote detonation switches into the weapons of any PCs I build for them. Build them for rather. I cannot have. I cannot have a handgun that starts out doing more damage than most people have wounds. I do not have to check before each adventure that my fellow adventurers are not doppelganger Cylons or pod people. Even if we are womp rat hunting, we don't have to die the Wookiee fluorescent orange. I will go to take out. I will go to take out the villains. Dungeon the old-fashioned way, not just use magic to reroute a river into it instead. After rerouting a river through the villain's lair, I will not pan for gold wherever the river comes out. Just because the game left out the rules for stun set or left the rules for stun setting grossly unbalanced, doesn't mean I get to take advantage of it. Despite the name, I can't actually wear a cloaker, but I will fail to notice the cloak weighs over a quarter ton. Metal detectors don't automatically find Cylons. When told to dress like a goth, I will make sure with no uncertainty whether they mean black clothes and eyeliner or chain mail and shield. There is no such thing as a wear saxophonist. If 48 hours of pistol whipping doesn't convince the terrorist to spill his guts, another 48 hours probably won't do it either. A tattoo gun is not standard equipment for the mapping kit. A cryo the cryokinetic is forever banned from water balloon fights. Even if the rules allow it, my sumo wrestler can't take super superhuman attractiveness. There is no such thing as a brothel crawl. My Isran will not use his powers to help fill out Wikipedia articles. My super, my sumo wrestler can't have lap, can't have lap band surgery without affecting his martial arts skills. Everyone Wang Chung tonight is not an acceptable use of the mass suggestion spell. Tornadoes don't have hit points. Even if I take twice as long, that doesn't mean I can take 40. I cannot try and throw large blunt objects at Malkavians, Kobolds, or Kenders, or their players. Even if the game is a crappy ripoff of World of Warcraft, my player, my character can't speak in leet. Even if I roll a natural 20, I can't jump the Grand Canyon on a stock steamroller. In the middle of a Black Ops, if a character dies, I will not disavow knowledge of him until after the mission is over. If the battle goes on for 20 rounds, we don't have to stop and wait for the Zamboni guy to clean up the battlefield. I will not tell rookies they can roll down their Y-Wings windows. My character does not need to shout out the name of what he's summoning every time he picks a creature. Anything short of adamantine full plate is not considered light armor for dwarves. In the middle of Black Ops, I can't start a major corp war just because I'm bored stiff with the current run. Uh, let's see. Even if he used intelligence as a dump stack, I don't have to carve this in toward Ward's enemy on the Barbarian's Axe Blade. If I'm in an assault mech, bump drafting is discouraged. After a successful Black Ops, before I'm paid, I will not immediately adopt a dozen children for tax breaks. I cannot wish that someone else was an Oscar Mayer wiener. I will not cut the vault guards in on the hall instead of fighting them. 1980s breakdancing moves have their place. In front of the Vodachi Prince is not one of them. Just because I was paid in advance doesn't mean I, I let the incompetent expedition leader die. There is a limit on how much innuendo you can fit in one combat round. 
Even if it was just my character speaking, I will not claim Texas was stolen from Mexico. I will live longer that way. I cannot put Nodens on speed dial. I will not attempt to clear out the dungeon using only Bangalore torpedoes. Picking his pocket means more than just turning him upside down and shaking him vigorously. I will not do anything that Bilbo Baggins hates. Even if I have, even if I have enough, putting silencers on my minigun doesn't work. There is no such thing as a magic murder bag of holding. I will stop referring to the Eladrin as just the Elf Mark II. I will not shoot vampires in the chest with a large pistol so they have to explain the embarrassing sucking chest wound. I will not take a phobia of anything does, that doesn't exist in the game world. If I have an ability that lets me alter minor aspects of my appearance, that doesn't include girth. Add bulldozers to the thing vampires are allergic to. Can't strangle a werewolf with a roll of Kodiak film no matter how much, no matter what we all know they're made out of. In the middle of Black Ops, I will not use up all the claymores just because I don't want to take them back with me. I cannot have my mercy surgically removed. Even if, I'm, even if I'm in charge, I can't order the Assault Lance to perform West Side Story dance routines. If given a Holy Avenger, I can't melt it down and reforge it into a weapon my paladin actually uses. Even if it still gives me a combat bonus to everyone else, I just can't stand there and read a comic book behind the villain. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't call my girlfriend a reminder to pick up some Chinese on the way home. I will leave up mating rituals when presenting a cultural exchange with diplomatic ambassadors. Letting the red shirt guard the plane is really frowned upon as it doesn't leave anyone to sacrifice to the Shoggoths. Can't start the campaign on fire. Will not start with all my skills at 89% just so I get a massive sand boost early. I cannot rickroll people with any video that d increases their mythos lore. I will refrain from casting Dimension Jump and Magnificent Mansion on every police box we pass. I cannot wish we were playing previous editions of the game. Summoning a water elemental right above the fire elemental doesn't work. There will be no more debating how much XP Mr. Tumnus would be worth. I cannot be the bizarro version of another player. Nowhere in my barbarian's description will I include the word jaunty. My issue does not get frequent, fl frequent bonus flyer miles automatically during character generation. Doesn't matter how big we make it, a pit trap isn't going to take out the Tarask. If I have to go into the dungeon, I, I, if I, ha I have to go into the dungeon, not just send in dozens of summoned creatures every morning. Fireballs don't have a non-lethal option. I will ponder this after I've cast one at that guy that we needed alive. My weapon is a plus three flaming flail, not my great balls of fire. I will not use a portable hole to cheat at golf. In the middle of a black ops, I will not look at the target's HR files to see if they have better benefits. I will not use the mage's staff of wizardry in lieu of a pool cue. Torching the forest doesn't get me any XP for anything inside of the forest. I cannot have any gun that lets me kill the villain without at least being in the adjacent county. A second level commoner is not twice as common as a first level commoner. If we don't have a thief, I can't call AAA to Slim Jim the uh, dungeon entry door. I will not lick the Rodian's antenna and stick him to the wall while he sleeps. No matter how long his speech is, my sniper will not shoot the speaker introducing the target. During the Psy jump, my neutral can't do mean things to the Scions while they're tripping. I will not try to feed the kin, the coon, extremely salty f uh, food to see if he melts. Our mission is to rescue the princess, not to bring Sexy back. Even if given detailed instructions on uh, pages 50 to 51, we can't take uh, Cloud City on a joyride. I can't wish to change my vote on what module we're currently playing. Baseline is not an acceptable perform skill specialty. Thrykreen do not have the flaw obsession pretty lights. The party leader is not the one that looks best in a chainmail bikini. I can't make it rain before the invention of paper currency. If I, ha if I make a cowboy with a youngin flaw, I can't name him Sue. Visual joke. Uh, if, if I don't have any points in med tech, I can't try faith healing. We will not try to end every adventure with a public service announcement. If my character requires the game master to memorize the rules for siege warfare, he's, he's vetoed. We can't trade the ranger for a giant pirate or padre. I am forbidden from using more than ten rule books to make one character. I will wait for the, gun the game master to finish his incredibly complicated riddle before answering correctly. I, I can't wish for someone to publish the rules for gnomes or bards. The time machine is not for collecting autographs. I can stop rolling at seven times dead. I am forbidden from using anything that makes a passerby, f a passerby flinch. Even if the rules allow it, I can't have an uneducated peasant start with every known language. If the rules contradict Isaac Newton, Newton wins. I will not send the villain a fake message his mother is coming and then attack him while he's cleaning. My brooding costume vigilante can't take the flaw dark secret well adjusted to society. 
Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, Dick Clark is not a Shimsu Heru. Even if I spend the points, I can't take the USS Montana as an ally. My knight will not buy a Shetland pony just so he can use his lance underground. I remember the spike chain cheese monster is allergic to the improved Sunder feet. I will stop asking NPCs how much XP they're worth. The seduction skill does not have a roll on, as a, a to hit on roll. No matter how well I make my bluff check, the Star Destroyer crew isn't going to believe I'm the new captain. Dressing up the wizard as a monk still won't stop monsters from appearing right next to him and attacking him first. When asked what game we want to LARP, Frogger is not an option. Chewing Hoaga leaves does not make me a goddamn sexual rhinodon. No, it won't help if we put a silencer on the bazooka. When approached by a famous historical figure, I can assume that he's a time. I gotta put the dog out. I will be back in like two minutes. Yeah, dogs don't care about schedules. Oh. Yeah, drinking water. No, the dog is taking a bathroom break. Let's see, where was I? Sexual Rhinodon. God, I wanted that game to be good, and it just wasn't. Oh no, hold on. The zombie one. Okay, here we go. Paladins do to urinate. In the middle of a Black Ops, my buttocks is forbidden from making contact with the target's copy machine. It's okay to feed the Ewok after midnight. Flashbangs are not to be handed out to trick-or-treaters. A stagehand does not get a better sneak bonus than ninjas. I will not conga line the pattern. Superpowers that are only useful to arc majors are vetoed. My last wish cannot be for a cage match between Cthulhu, Godzilla, Galactus, and the Tarasque. I will avoid making wishes that lock the game in infinite time loops. I will not go to FTL just to avoid the red light. I will not min-max the appraise skill to clean up on the prices right. Even if we just cleared it out, we can't turn White Plume Mountain into a theme park. Even if the rules allow it, I can't put a spinal-mounted weapon on a bicycle. I cannot have a Destroid that requires me to take the ally advantage two dozen times just to crew it. Stan Lee does not make a cameo appearance in every single adventure. Even if I make it out of one continuous design, a Draconice and Castle does not count as one object. Just blow them out the airlock is not backup first contact protocol. Even if, it's total, even if it's totally feasible, I cannot indefinitely stall our rivals with a bureaucracy check. My panzer hand doesn't get a vote. Smartass is not a character role. I can't have any feet in the main book if the feet is written in pencil. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't download several thousand songs on the target's computer then call the RIAA. There is, there is no such thing as ambiguously elven. Even if he is chaotic evil, I can't turn state's evidence against a fellow party member. Even if the boss monster has 100% magic resistance, my wizard can't go out and catch a movie. I will keep rolling until I get a superpower I can actually use. I cannot have any gun that has NPC-only trigger guards. Even if they never suspect it, my Jedi can't have a flamethrower. 
No, we can't see if the party can beat Temple of Elemental Evil in under an hour. I will stop trying to put the halfling into a diabetic coma. If I'm just a few XP away from 16th level, I just can't cast fireballs at random force until I hit something. I can't have a gun that treats buildings as light cover. No matter what the dice just said, I didn't kill the villain in the first shot of the combat. Elves do not have to go to the bathroom in groups. Penguins do not fit in the standard ether jar. The Vulcan neck paint doesn't work in campaigns without Vulcans. Just because my sword is intelligent doesn't mean he can do my math homework for me. It's a stranglehold, not an, uh, not an ogre neck pinch. Ursuran women are not instantly recognizable by their beards. Even if the rules allow it, I can't hit stone with the Stone Cold Stunner. Having more beer than the enemy doesn't give me a morale bonus for the mass combat chart. No feat allows me to open beer cans with my pecs. The Death Star does not need a cabin boy. Overused cliche is not an appropriate favored enemy. I cannot gain drama dice in games I'm not actually in. It's okay to name your kindred Alucard, but I still can't name my Guru Namflo. No matter how low the orc intelligence, they still aren't going to fall for a large wooden horse outside the gates of Mordor. Head, heart, run is not our posse's motto. No matter how much sense it makes, we can't paint the glitter boy a camo paint scheme. My first act as XO cannot be, cannot be a mutiny. <coughs> Excuse me. Not allowed to use the replicator and transporter to fill the bird of prey with jello. I can't take invisibility to detect invisibility. My fighter can't use the monster manual as a to-do list. No making up patron saints. No part of the adventurer is clothing optional. No matter what the, the dice say, I did not just seduce Chun-Li and Cammy. It takes more than one pickpocket roll to totally derail the campaign. I can't wish that someone else, that someone competent wrote this module. Even if the game is dreadfully rep repetitive, our party motto can't be wash, rinse, repeat. I will not point out to the drow matron that she would make more money as an exotic dancer, even if it's true. Must, pay, must at least pay lip service to the meta plot. It's not possible to stampede dwarves. When told to pick a published superhero to play, Johnny Cash is allowed. Paul Stanley is also perfectly acceptable. There is no such thing as a strap-on beard. It doesn't matter if he took the large advantage, we aren't using the Yasurin as ballast. I will address the other PC as Lord Tyrion, Eldritch Knight of the Winter Court, and not just the she-male. Visual joke. Okay, even if the rules disagree, my character can still drown. I cannot take the flaw. The following as my favorite enemies. Southpaws, mother-in-law, or Keynesian econo economists. Even if I'm being shanghaied into playing in, in another crappy campaign, can't use Constitution as a dump stat. We aren't luring the Arasaka agents out of the safe house by making ice cream truck noises. Splitting the atom at will is not an acceptable superpower. Ignore the meta plot is also not a, an acceptable superpower. No, the answer to the problem is not to make Gatlin guns out of bazookas. Can't base my character off a of smurf. Even if I could base my character off a of smurf, Gurkha smurf was not a real smurf. No matter what the dice say, my renaissance inventor did not just invent man's space flight. If the villain's three-room lair holds over 100 brutes, can't just tip off the fire marshal. No rerouting the roller coaster through the umbra. Can't blame it on my gun. Will not retrofit my Federation starship with fuses. Heavy bolters don't come with a pistol grip. Uh, he is part husky. And it is, it is what passes for cold in Texas, so he is happy outside and will not come in today. I will stop referring to my rogue as a freelance subterranean locksmith. The lockpicking kit must be more than a sawed-off shotgun. Dwarves are physically incapable of performing the Dance of the Seven Veils. Even if the guy I based my character off was famous for doing it, I can't kill eight guys with one bullet. Weapon-focused nuclear weapons is not a real feat. There will not be any sex in any other player's battle mechs. My paladin can be charged with sexual harassment if he doesn't exactly watch where he lays on hands. Any character that makes a season Rift's player flinch is vetoed and shall never be spoken of again. I can't check the soul forged in as baggage. Will not reanimate dead familiars just to keep them around for sentimental purposes. Freeing slaves out of justice is good. Out of spite, not so much. No, we can't have an H.R. Geiger counter. An elven war dancer in nothing but body paint is totally hot. A Vestin berserker in nothing but body paint, not so much. Basing characters off of gestalts of historical characters is fine, unless it's Miyamoto Musashi and the mom from What's Happening. Gold dragons do not conduct electricity better than other dragons. The two primary types of halflings are not Flathead and Phillips. 
My mad scientist is not to get to divide the party into control and test groups. For the last time, the elf wears the maid disguise and the troll wears the bouncer disguise. There is no such thing as a gnomish pygmy seeing eye rhino either. Just because I can play a, Western, a charismatic Vestan Manyavnyar missionary cleric doesn't mean I should. My Buddhist monk will lose the Cockney accent. Let's not taunt the Minotaur with how appropriate you fight like a cow. I will spend my martial arts techniques on things other than blocking and running away. Even if, it rules, even if the rules allow it, a flamethrower, a laser sight does not add to my chain gun's accuracy. Even if I have one on each barrel. I will refrain to, uh, from taking character roles that the game forgot to make any rules for. Just because I'm playing an anthropomorphic Emperor Marmoset doesn't give me the noble advantage for free. Cannot bribe the target's uh, human resource directors to start casual Fridays just to make our upcoming Black Ops that much easier. I can't avoid plot-mandated man, uh, plot ambushes no matter how hard I try. No, I can't have a mage lock, uh, mini slugger. I will not spend all of my freebie points buying quantum kinetic auxiliary modes. No, we can't weld the Star Destroyer's bridge shut. There is a 100 XP penalty every time we re remind the Game Master of the Bionic 6. If the adventure includes the birth of a god, we still can't file for holiday pay that day. In the middle of a black ops, I can't compose an offensive joke. I can't compose an offensive joke on the target CEO's email and CC the entire company. If the game master can't lift all the GURPS books needed to run my character, he's vetoed. The ten foot pole and the starting equipment list cannot support the weight of an exotic dancer. Scorched Earth Day is not a holiday, even in Cyberpunk. Nothing in Victoria's Secrets catalog is available in Draconison. Hey, we're at the halfway mark. Even if they are better in combat according to character generation, the United States Marine Corps frowns on octogenarians in frontline combat. No amount of background will allow me to name the character Biff Buttoms. State troopers are immune to the effects of the delirium, so I need to find another way to get out of that speeding ticket. No matter how well I make my fashion roll, Le Emperor is not going to the ball dressed in a Catholic schoolgirl's uniform. Everybody was not gung fu fighting, or gun fu fighting. Even if my character is Canadian, that doesn't mean he has to take a 1.524 meter, meter free step. I will pick my character's girlfriend based on something on more than just how much fire support she can provide. I will not one shot an Ison first. The plan will not continue until the game master finds out who Zan Tabok is. I will not. I will do nothing that tarnishes Hello Kitty's memory. Gravity-defying breasts, while impressive, do not count as a superpower. Even if my character is Orthodox Jewish, I will check other characters' pulse before trying to bury them. A NASCAR pit crew cannot repair all of my vehicle's damage in one round. My character will refrain from appearing in with Hitler in the history books, especially if I'm chasing him with a wheat thresher. Fawner Posen's boy toy is technically not a position at court. I will only use the module's suggested tactics to stop the ground assault and ignore the squadron of Y-Wings 100 meters away. Seriously, it was in the module. You couldn't do it. There is no such thing as a ballista ogram. I will not accuse the Traveler News, Net News Service of liberal bias. The Ewok does not appreciate the giant hamster wheel we put in his quarters. In great. I will not spend my entire muster bonus on lottery tickets. If another player took the disadvantage stutters, I can't play a Kakri. Black and Decker did not make droids either. I will not play, blow all of my points on extra limbs just so I can play the superhero Millipede Man. Just because the great race of Yith's effect on sanity is minimal doesn't mean I should invite them over for dinner with the folks. The very concept of a hut lap dancer will earn me a dark side point. The M203 is not for long, long range bocce ball. Getting someone to spot for me is not going to give me a bonus on a strength check. I will not hex someone into looking like a piñata, especially in Mexico City. If silence is required for the entire adventure, we are not naming the Black Ops Operation Mind Crime. I will tell the noob the game is about post-nuclear Europe and not love-struck vampires before we start. You cannot tell if someone is a power gamer by the faint smell of Gouda. I cannot filibuster in the middle of my dying speech to buy the cleric more time. Even if we are told to pick a manly name for the game, Genocidocles is a bit much. Can't lure the best dead into an ambush by turning on the can opener. Jack LaLanne. Wrong type of juicer. If unsure of what side of the road we drive on, the middle is not a healthy compromise. Brute squads make poor bridesmaids. The reverse is not technically true. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot become famous by, for not being famous. 
there is no god of wombats, no matter how much I pray. If I have to explain to the halfling sister why we dress him like a raccoon, we're all in trouble. No matter how cool it would be, we can't use the time machine to loan Ike a few A-10 squadrons for D-Day. I don't get a drama die just because the, D the GMPs. I will not waste wishes on professional sporting events. Hooking up with the gamer chick the storyteller was angling for gets me banned from the game. Yeah, yeah, I miss you, Mary. When attempting to lure the giant to sleep with the bardic lullaby, I will leave out the lyric so we can kill you. I will not program the medical droid for aggressive dentistry. I will not dare the wage mage into trying to summon a class 20 spirit. Guardian mage, or guardian mode is not just for flipping people in the bird in the, flipping people the bird in the middle of combat. Even if we are issued a nuke, I'm not allowed to touch it. I will stop trying to get a reality TV show for our black ops team. We are not going to stall 10,000 uruk with a fake toll booth. Pointing out the massive plot hole in the villain's plans is not going to stop her from attacking. Before we start, let's make sure uh, whether everybody knows if I shoot a shield with a las gun, if everybody blows up. Preliminary saturation carpet bombing is not automatically plan A. Even if I only get to swing a sword once per minute, I can't stop to smoke between attacks. I won't call my gun by a stupid nickname, even if it's the one that the game suggested. Wood chippers, while useful, aren't normal gear for black ops. I will not tell the new players gelatinous cubes come in a variety of yummy flavors. The cleric is not tax exempt. No matter how much fun, we are not retrofitting a tank with jump jets. I cannot mint my own currency. Just because they make a miniature with that ability doesn't mean I can take that ability. I will not use the mass suggestion spell to make the elf babes make out. Gnomes are not nature's tripods. Dwarves do not groom themselves like cats or baboons. Elves do too have nipples. Halflings are not used as currency. Biggio leans into pitch is not a real kung fu maneuver. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot have a monofilament sledgehammer. If we can't fit the droid in the freighter, I can't play him. No matter how well I make the animal handling roll, I can't break a juggernaut of corn. Setting Jawas on fire with a magnifying glass is an automatic dark side point. Motorcycle tires cause, will cause aggravated wounds on a case-by-case -case basis. No feet uh, affects hang time. We will limit the total c amount of conversation on the topic of, of hot gnome on gnome action. I will not threaten to glue the old rules for gnomes over the new rules for elves Mark II. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot disarm anyone in melee with a longbow. I will not just I will not dump the vampire into the umbra and call it a day. Growing a goatee will not give me a bonus for sneaking into the villain's lair. Portable plot hole is not a real magic item. I will not start a Ponzi scheme involving the entire party. Even if I couldn't attend the session when everything went to hell, it's still all my fault. The Stanley Cup does not have the same power as the Holy Grail, even on Canadians. The MMOR MMORPG convert doesn't have to actually roleplay in his first game. Characters wanting to start the party do not have to undergo the Flash Gordon tree monster ceremony. I cannot have a palanquin in, in my starting gear. Have a, having a reputation for having a reputation does not grant me more reputation. I will quit hogging the legend chips. No digging out all the bullets in my character and reusing them. No using the grapple rules to change the course of history. I will not take on the entire dungeon using only one body part to attack. The Eldar really hate it when you greet them with live long and prosper. No matter his condition, we aren't selling the villain's corpse as modern art. Count on a backup villain if we ace the first one in the first two rounds without damage. I will not give my preteen kids my work number, especially if I'm on a black ops. The monkey grip feat doesn't have anything to do with gripping monkeys. Winona Ryder's bare breasts are not an acceptable weakness for my superhero. I will stop shooting at natural disasters. No spending all my starting gold on just a loincloth. Can't dominate to make vampires forget to change their clocks for daylight savings time. I will not spoil the adventurer's mandatory ambush by using the cheesing tactic of a scout. It's obvious I'm just playing a skull so I can sing Bjorning Bjorning Disco Inferno. The primary dwarf subraces are not sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. I will not vote to play a game that has needed rules decisions from an economist. Even if the rules allow it, I cannot fence with a katana. I can't have the rule I can't have a skill if the rules say I can't have it, even if the rules say I'm also good at it. Bleaching the drow won't help. Despite what the rules say, bobsledding through the Vatican is much harder than it looks. I will not make the the dungeon master break out the siege rules until at least I'm until I'm at least second level. 
Even if the dungeon has only one exit, we can't just starve the villain out. A black ops is not an appropriate place to declare my candidacy for mayor. Carpet bombing is not an appropriate specialization for a starting character. The guy with the melted gun doesn't automatically have to carry the popcorn. I don't have time in the black ops to play Tetris with the building lights. The elvish language is not just English with a hell of a lot of lisping. I cannot convert to Scottish just for tax purposes. Doing 50 and a 45 does not cause an alignment check for the paladin. Gods don't tap out. The Montaigne are not required to surrender after the second turn. Ice and First Visha does not appreciate the lap dance. I will keep the fact that the King's Heraldry looks a lot like a ferret in need of the Heimlich maneuver to myself. Lying about benefits being cut are not going to make the guards too disgruntled to fight back later. I am not the he who must not be he who must not be named only in passing. It is not a race to zero sanity. No spending half the game session seeing what rhymes with Nyarlathotep. Even if I did manage to work all the lyrics to a 22 Acacia Avenue in character in character in the game, no bonus experience points. If the party goes out like 300, that's cool. Thelma and Louise, not so much. When the DM sobers up, my party's my paladin's flump mount is good as is as good as dead. Using my prior knowledge of the adventure to force the game along, while encouraged, is discouraged. Zentradi are not good eating. Emergency supplies are not for childish pranks. The Dibs system is not a recognized method of promotion in the Ordo Malleus. In case of premature termination, the dungeon boss has an identical twin brother on standby. High recoil guns and roller skates are not an acceptable method of transportation. You can't find true names in a phone book. If the top floor is too well defended, can't just blow off the next to top floor. Can't start the game with echolocation. I will wait until the first combat to tell the new guy that the lower the AC is better. In the middle of a black ops, I don't have time to elope. Wizards do not have to save against carpal tunnel syndrome. My ally advantage and arch enemy flaw can't both represent the same person. If I take a Buddhist monk, I get lots of combat bonuses that I can't use without violating my religion. Even if the rules allow it, I can't catch bullets with my pecs. Yeah, um, we were using a uh, D20, uh, a bunch of D20 systems to, t to uh, see what the, the uh, penalty to hit JFK from every p conceivable angle was. Yeah, that was a, that was a waste of a, of a complete evening. And it settled nothing. <laughs> uh, let me see. What was it? My bard will not take a trombone just so we can attack and use his bard song at the same time. There is no such thing as pre preemptive last rites. Any plan that would quickly, logically, and safely defeat the module early is doomed to failure. Cannot summon an elemental out of any material that only exists in laboratory environments. Cannot name my droid WEGD6. Despite its phenomenal success rate, the multi melt is not the solution to all my problems. When the dwarf has an idea, no making the he's drunk motion behind his back. The paladin does not appreciate painting his dire tiger green and orange. Like a cow who goes to the well too often, I will stop speaking only in metaphors. I will not, I will, I will not blow all my skill points on just ballroom dancing. I will remember the Japanese response to uncomfortable situation kiwis. The ability to mimic other people's luck power does not make me a karma chameleon. Even if the game is set in 1912, the female characters get a vote on the party's action. Even if the rules allow it, can't fish with a flamethrower. I will not insist on playing a lamb pilot just to see if the Robotech lawyers were really serious. Dwarves do not have the racial ability to merge into a larger, more powerful dwarf. I will not take resources zero and status five and just confiscate money as I need it. Cannot use the requisition skill to get a beach house in the Virgin Islands, even if, con even if Congress can. My sideburns cannot earn their own fear rating. I must, I, must sing to my kids to, I must sing my kids to sleep before the Black Ops starts. I will not sing other characters' kids to sleep before, during, or after the back Black Ops. None of these summon animal spells get, gets me the drummer from the Muppets. No cross-classing just to get all the different animal sidekicks. Will not break it to the other player that her three and a half foot tall elf is not taller than my three foot six tall elf. The party will not enter into a tontine. That just encourages the evil players. Uh, no matter what the rules say, I can't chase the villain around the map indefinitely. When I'm told to get an alias, they didn't mean that chick from with the azure bonds. The concept of puberty is not alien to the elves. There is more than playing a fin than just cell phones, reindeer, and sniper rifles. 
Even if I have a salient point, I won't call the Rush Limbaugh show in the middle of a Black Ops. If I'm playing an alien, I can't have Alkaline for blood. Burning Orb spell does not cause jock itch. Using the time machine to put W on the front of the alphabet is just silly. Will not add the restriction only to cook eggs to any of my superpowers. The island of small-breasted fantasy females only, only exists in my mind. Even if Detroit can do it, I can't add the trait randomly bursts into flames to my car. There is more to stopping a zombie horde than just punji pets. Just because I can, doesn't mean I should drop a house on the witch. No dots, uh, no dots uh, in fashion will let me use my bio varg for formal wear. I cannot convince the entire party to play squats. I cannot take a snipe a psychic if all he's going to do is trail us with a high-powered rifle. Dropping a tree on the lich creates more rules problems than it's worth. My bard will not stop every passing minstrel for a round of dueling banjos. I will not use the ventriloquism skill to deliver bad news to the emperor. Even if the rules allow it, can't add the high-speed pursuit option to a steamroller. I will not turn the DM into a drinking game. No metamagic feat allows me to add fragmentation to my spells. When playing a teleporter, I will buy the ability to actually teleport. Let me see. I will not just buy the ability to teleport everyone but me. When I'm out of character, the hand puppets come off. I will not use the time machine to make Don't Blame Me I Voted for Tilden bumper stickers. Shooting him in the foot first does not give me a bonus to the ridicule check. Even if historical accuracy is important in the adventure, I will not become the Nazi Nazi. I will not convince the dragon to eat the elf just because he's organically grown. Okay, that's 1500. Let's uh, take another sip real quick so my voice can get, uh, get fresh. Yes, and it's all real. Yeah. Scotch, gosh, gosh. We love scotch. Okay, here we go. I will not take the mirror image spell literally and just shoot the wizard that's not left handed. My first wish can't be to invalidate the previous character's last wish. Despite what the rules say, it doesn't take 45 minutes to choke a 10th level fighter to death. I cannot take the parachute skill until someone invents the parachute. We are not going through the phone book to see whose name is a killing word either. It is not automatically assumed whatever vehicle cop, whatever vehicle my cop commandeers is a monster truck. North Equatorial Kansas is not a real state. Nowhere in the timeline is Superfly McBoom Boom a U.S. Vice President. No part of the Constitution was written in, in invisible ink. The movie phone guy can't be the voice of the ship's computer. No using the time machine to set the Star Spangled Banner to anything by White Zombie. My canine officer can't spend his animal requisition points to, just to buy two dozen chihuahuas. I will not shoot a great old one just to say I did it. I will make it abundantly clear the guy playing my mortal enemy is a good friend in real life. The Pope does not have cyberpsychosis. I cannot wish we were still playing Torg. Checking to see if the Mad Slasher is okay. Dismembering him with a shotgun is not. My sniper will not kill all the bad guys before the rest of the party is in range. In the middle of the Black Ops, I can't sell my niece's band candy to the hostages. I will tell the noobs the storyteller wasn't joking about peop kicking people in the, ju the jewels for macking on jailbait. Hey, Ryan. While lethal, ferris wheels are not exactly healthy to vampires. Outside of Kingwood Community College, moose antlers do not mean out of character. Stained glass windows are not a standard feature on panzer tanks. The extract water elemental spell does not work on water elementals. I will not waste critical successes on drumming. Can't use my pistols to communicate in Morse code. There is no patron saint of the dodecahedron. I can't ask the bad guy if I fired 40,000 rounds or just 39,999. There is no such thing as a 37 sexual. We are not sneaking in Mordor dressed as tour guides. Even if it does take the thief 10 minutes to search the room, that's not enough time for a quickie. If it's cheaper to buy a new gun than to reload the old one, there's a problem. Even if the rules allow it, can't have a belt-fed pistol. I will raise my hand if I've already heard the DM's riddle. The spell is called Prismatic Spray, not Taste the Rainbow. Before we start the dungeon crawl, I don't have to have my monk oiled down. My rogue trader does not need to announce his arrival with eight hours of orbital bombardment. My mage can't sleepwalk just to get around cat resting for spells. When the power gamer sleeps, can't move the camp down the road. Can't uh, lure out House Liao mech warriors by announcing a Chinese fire drill. While highly effective, grabbing a man by a small intestine and making him talk like a ventriloquist dummy is frowned on. My superhero didn't survive the purge of supers just by playing left offensive guard for the Detroit Lions. 
Jesus Christ, that one still is funny. Okay. Um, my Warhammer doesn't have the claw part. Not allowed to blow the supports under Minzo Baranzin. No matter how appreciated, I still have to have a better superpower than Cures Cancer by Touch. Can't spend ship points to put a Starbucks on the bridge. I will stop making up Space Marine chapters. My Netrunner's icon has to be something other than the Space Invader ship. The totalitarian government tends to notice large purchases of cows, trebuchets, and surveying gear. The dirty, hairy, feeling lucky punk speech doesn't work with a longbow. During the Black Ops, all cell phones go on vibrate. My Lunar Class Cruiser has more than one bathroom. I can't wish my girlfriend was hot like you. Arch villains don't care about zoning restrictions. No matter how well I roll on my Intimidate check, France won't surrender. I do not have weapons proficiency in Craftsman. I will not hoard Electrum in 2nd edition because I know it will be phased out. No dire marmot mounts until they publish the rules. Any mention of Life Day gets everyone a dark side point. My character is not addicted to the feeling, the shindig, or love. It's not, pa it's not possible to tattoo the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel anywhere on my body. Weapon codes mean bludgeoning, pat slashing, and piercing, not ballistic, serrated, and pneumatic. Dwarves have to take the plate mail off before sex. Super speed gives immunity to friction. Shape changing is an acceptable superpower. Shape changing only into the 93 San Diego Padres is not. Bunk cards are not for three card Monty. I don't get to play anyone else's shadow. Werewolves do not usually have access to the sonnet specialization. The opening lyrics to Rock of Ages are not an acceptable substitute for a real plan. No signing infernal contracts with infer in Despairing Ink. Can't bluff the Empire at Hoth with just a whole bunch of snowmen. The Navigator has warp sight, not insane vision. Attempting to woo the space elf clown does not turn the adventure into a harlequin romance. I do, I do not have to scan the Romulan ambassador for cooties. Apaches do not settle arguments with Indian leg wrestling. I will tell the new player fantasy games means gnomes and wizards, not assless chaps and jumper cables. A degauss gun is not a real gun. Every time the halfling gets a critical hit, I don't have to feed him a snack. No one in the party gets to name their character Kurgan McAskicker. I will not spend 30 minutes of the game trying to buy an accordion. I will stop using crew as hit points. I need to stop telling new players bards were the original prestige class, even though they were. Even if the rules allow it, can't take a prestige class at level 4. Even if the rules allow it, you can't sneak with a running chainsaw. Veggie pygmies are not a part of this complete breakfast. The progenitor's job is not, is not just to supply the good stuff. There is no way the Iteration X-Mage is going to make it through airport security. It's not okay to stick the Syndicate agent with the check every single time. We aren't calling the, NWA, the NWO agent at odd hours just to answer trivia questions. We will buy a GPS already so we don't have to drag the Void Engineer everywhere. Rokia do not make Pac-Man noises when they attack. If the solar cringes, it's time to reassess my, allow, uh, my alignment. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. We are past the halfway point. Okay, even if the rules allow it, I can't buy myself an Imperator Titan. Flak armor is not just a... <coughs> Flak armor is not just a muscle shirt with the word armor stenciled on it. We aren't raising the villain from the dead because we haven't killed him enough yet. Even if she's the most dangerous, the party doesn't appreciate me killing the naked chick first. Devils don't appreciate natural 20s on a bargain check. If my gun can easily kill everything in the room, I go last in initiative. There is no prize for having the prettiest werewolf. Even if the rules allow it, I can't mount a flamethrower on a knife. Cephalopod, cephalopods do not get bonuses to attack Japanese women. Druids have many roles in the party. Minesweeper is not one of them. I am not Elvago the Gay Blade. When I am told to pick a number between 1 and 10, the answer is not Pi. I cannot have a Bluetooth telegraph. If my fireballs always seem to form a mushroom cloud, time to tone it down a bit. They do not sell tire spikes at KB Toys. I cannot kill a man in any way made possible, made, made famous by Rutger Hauer. Even if I am the captain, I can't have my men portage the frigate. If the, the, if the game master says 3d6 straight down, he didn't mean it if that gives me a pixie fairy berserker. Even if she started it, no setting the princess on fire. There is no such thing as boobs plus one. No matter how much they enjoy it, no juggling halfling children. I will stop telling the noob the Star Wars universe celebrates people exploding at the age of 25. Despite what the rules say, a Draconice and Life Preserver is a bad idea. Despite what the math says, elves do not gestate for an entire decade. I will not take the flaw, enemy, paranoids. Any, any character even remotely resembling Mr. B. Natural is dead before the first dice are rolled. 
If the elf is rolling badly, doesn't mean we need to water him. I will not use the druid chakram uh, to play frisbee with the dire wolf. No using the reduce spell to on, to uh, to get to. No using the reduce spell to only buy a child's ticket for movies. Militech does not have a wedding registry. Can't thwart the Cylon's massive attack just by installing Norton antivirus. It is bad form to sing along with the elevator music in a Black Ops. Verbena way more than a doc. My character's favorite color is not Burnt Umber Hulk. Getting a blue chip for humor does not entitle me to an acceptance speech. If all the character, if all the players have to pull their d6s so I can roll for initiative, time to retire the character. <coughs> mm. I can't meddle in ass kicking. Starships do not have to drop anchor. Starship Starfleet's rules on using the holodeck for recreating scenes from Caligula are very clear. I will not blow any of my starting cash on just house cats. If plan A was beaded out of him, plan B can't be just asked nicely. If it's revealed Shakespeare was the author of Funky Cold Medina, my time machine privileges are revoked. No bio bioengineering dolphins to shoot laser beams out of their blowholes. Animals native to Australia are not eligible for my druid's companion. Dibs is not a term of bereavement. Using the dwarf as a battering ram is expected. Other siege weapons not so much. No giving the character a dumb name so he can pick fights over it later. There is a number of times, a number of adjectives that I can attach to an uppercut. No matter what it says, my intelligent vorpal sword is not getting rewarded with a candy bar. No matter what the rules say, antibiotics can't make a man's head explode. During, despite precedent, if the travel gets rough, we can't eat the bard. Even if it fills the mission parameters, no machete killing sprees dressed like Carmen Miranda. One more bad pun for a character name and I'm forbidden from playing in the furry RPG. I am not one Batman. Any character requiring the DM to have more than 10 pages of rules for reference is vetoed. Even if we were playing in the Old West, I can't spend all of my money on leather, whips, and barbed wire. I can't free the cannibals' prisoners by starting a food fight with them. Venting non-essential crew to the void before payday is not an acceptable cost-cutting measure. No teaching halflings how to fly. My Nega Magician will not taunt the Wage Mage, Briar Rabbit style. The Power Gamer would appreciate me not bringing the book with the rule he is currently uh, grotesquely abusing. A warning shot is not just one that wounds him. No using the, gra the halfling as a grappling hook. Starting a flame war on the internet is bad. Starting a flame war not on the internet is much, much worse. My halberdier is not disarmed and dangerous. The words rock opera will not appear in any of my wishes. Just because he has specialization in the observation skill does not mean he likes to watch. Even if we stole all of their alkaline chemicals, it does not mean all their base belongs to us. Cleaning out the dungeon means more than just backing up a cement truck to the window. No starting a mosh pit in a leper colony. There is no such thing as a bad touch attack. If my rogue trader manages to arrive before he leaves, no cleaning up on the lottery. I will not forget to uncuff the pedophile before, from outside the car before driving back to the station. If it takes more than five minutes for the debris to stop falling, I need to pick a smaller gun. When told to distract the bad guys, they didn't mean by playing wham over their comm links. When told to distract the bad guy, they didn't mean by shooting the guy standing next to him. When told to distract the bad guy, they didn't mean by setting him on fire. Dungeons are not handicap accessible. Before start entering the dungeon, I will take off the I'm with Tasty tabard. I will remember the incredible luck power is illegal in Vegas. I will not start date I will not start dating another character's arch enemy. I will not start the game radioactive. If an enemy fails a stun check, that does not give me a free hit for flinching. Before I get it on with the green chick, I will make sure that she's supposed to be that color. Before I sass the power gamer, make sure that the other players have my back. I do not get any XP for anything I killed in a flashback. No amount of character points let me start as the Beatles bagpipists. The point of the improvised weapon skill is not to see how many different things I can kill people with. Just crossing his fingers behind his back is not an option for my paladin. Snuffocate is not a real way to kill anyone. Killing the orc horde by drowning them all at once is heroic. Killing them one at a t killing them by drowning them one at a time is an alignment check. No making up euphemisms by for death. There is no neurotic book of fantasy. The dodge everything while standing still is not a real spell. No following a minute behind gold leader and just shooting down Vader. Just because he starts every game in a tavern doesn't mean the barbarian needs rehab. One third of the elf homeland's uh, GDP does not go to hair care products. I don't get double XP if I kill the monster with explosive decompression. True Sight doesn't tell me what the NPC's treasure type is. 
buying the alternative identity advantage is perfectly legal, unless it's Elvis. When asked to describe my room, I can't use Smog's lair as a template. Debauchery is not a stat. Can't load the shotgun with just rock salt because I'm feeling mean. Yes, Les Paul is a guitar god. No, he can't cast spells. Can't use the decanter of endless water for water skiing, jacuzzis, or wet tabard contests. And Dorians are not closely related to Smurfs. The Astromech appreciates it if we stop using him for ordnance delivery. Even if the rules allow it, lawful good deities do not appreciate human sacrifices. Can't clear out a dungeon by sneaking in and running a generator while they sleep. Even if it's historically accurate, can't heal someone by cutting them. The time machine is not for finding ringers for our baseball team. Even if we're playing Werewolf the Wild West, I can't play the Lone Ranger. If my boss wakes me wakes up to find a young Frank Sinatra has won American Idol, no more time machine privileges for me. Before anyone makes a demolition check, I will raise my hand if my skill is the highest. In the middle of a black ops, we can't play Will It Bounce with the penthouse furniture. No bringing up the time we were nearly TPK'd by a Jerboa. Even if it is really cool, no throwing dry ice on the water weird. Mooning M. Bison is not an appropriate stunt action. I want to spend all my starting cash on the stock market. <coughs> Can't take out the villain just by propping up a bucket of acid over his door. It is not necessary for the villain to say uncle before I accept his surrender. My martial artist has to know an actual martial art. Can't just wizard lock the villain's throne room and come back two weeks later after he's starved to death. <coughs> Summon Para Elemental is not a real spell. The spell Summon Vacuum Elemental is not for household chores. I don't have to name everything we discover after myself. I can't forge out a new elven homeland by conquest, unless the elves want a new homeland. Contrary to popular opinion, the girdle of masculinity femininity does have a noticeable effect on elves. The minute the game master figures out my inquisitor is Lenny Briscoe, he dies. No building a Gatling Gatling gun. My martial arts style is vetoed if it's just 30 different ways to hit a guy in the jewels. No matter how well I make my animal wrangling skill, can't saddle break a Los Diablos. No god's vestments include go-go boots. If I kill more goons with my rifle than the rest of the party without firing a shot, it's time to retire the character. When facing the classic weight balance trap, we can't use the halfling for balance. Ballast. Can't have a gun that doubles as a jump jet. Large things that hurt badly is not an appropriate weapon focus. No putting all my weapon points in the blow gun. Even if I do take the blow gun, I still have to poison the darts. Even if the rules allow it, I can't start a Vestin Manyavnyar Dixieland band. Dousing a character in beer is acceptable after a victory, then setting him on fire is not. We aren't continuing the mission until everyone is clear on the term going in hardcore. Come here often is not something you say when rescuing the princess from the necromancer's dungeon. I can't name my wa my rabbit watership my rabbit familiar watership. There is no par on a dragon. Even if I write it, I can't have my own theme song. The rules don't cover laugh tracks. If the villain performs a kind act, can't blackmail him with it later. Klingons don't have a French accent. We aren't locating the campaign to Texas or Florida for tax reasons. No taunting characters about what they lost in the latest errata. Can't one-shot major villains just because the writers forgot to give them a basic defense. Contrary to popular belief, mercenaries don't help divorce proceedings. Even if my character has no spoken language, the campaign will not turn into a game of charades. There was no conspiracy to keep whales out of 7th Sea. I can't target microscopic organisms with spells. If my character is a hard-drinking, hard-partying Muslim chick, it's vetoed if she's clearly my ex. A barbarian is not just a fighter with less feats and more anger management issues. Lord Soth does not need a hug. No summoning octopi to make the sleeping paladin explain all the hickeys. No challenging sleeping people to a duel. No hogging all the brute kills. Calling my shot means where I want to hit him, not where I want him to land. Despite what the module said, not every woman in this campaign is a closeted lesbian. The princess's menstrual cycle does not factor into her rescue. Dr. Seuss has no place in an exorcism. It doesn't matter what I just killed with it, the howitzer is not going to qualify for holy relic. No risking profit factor to buy groceries. Star destroyers are already baby-proofed. If my character causes Camelot to look like King Lear, he dies. If I just rolled the same chart result eight times in a row, I will lie about the result if I do it again. No spending stunt points to play yoink got your nose on a gen lock. Even if my CO does it, a unitard is not an appropriate SAS uniform. No starting a character with four swordsman skills or schools. No, I can't Google the villain's secret weakness. 
my monk can't convince the bad guy to go streaking with him just because they're easier to beat up later. I can't disarm the monk, at least not literally. I don't have to be faster than the other Inquisitors, they just have to be faster than my bullets. If my actions single-handedly put the drow on the endangered species list, time to retire the character. No using eHarmony to find a cleric for the party. Can't use a wish spell to make the last Star Wars trilogy not suck. Battle mauls can't be used as coops, uh, coup sticks. Just because I spared the villain's life doesn't mean she owes me a first date. They don't make weapon grade schnauzers. No using goldfish as improvised weapons just to get the dual weapon bonus. I don't have to buy a child's seat to, make the, to take the halfling anywhere. Using nuclear weapons and assassinations is just being lazy. No using the friendship virtue to start a harem. Beatlemania is not an acceptable dementia. I will remember we're playing 4th edition stop, and stop using my imagination. Distracting the bad guy does not mean with an Aztec bar mitzvah. Some grizzfarb says I have to stop making up gnomish profanities. I can't play an anthropomorphic homo sapiens. Albanians do not count as furries. I will stop telling people my high elf is just a draw with a bad case of uh, vitili vitiligo. Yeah, you never pronounce that word right. Even if it takes an hour before it's my turn again, I can't kill time with solitaire. Doesn't matter what the map says, we can't drive a sports car through the villain's lair. Can't find the villain just by casting power words stun in the bar and, let, and see who's still standing. I can't make the genie's head explode until everyone else has had their wish. Let's keep the collateral damage to under a billion dollars. A comeliness under 15 doesn't mean I can't be on MTV. I can't use other party members for anti. Not possible to corner the market on weapons they don't have rules for yet. The halfling language is not just baby speak. Getting the dwarf fixed is not going to improve his disposition. Can't start every game breaking out of jail. They don't make healing potions in diet. I will not point out any loophole that arouses the power gamer. When challenged for rank, I can't make the challenge 1970s NBA trivia. Leave off the chaotic evil alignment on the teaching application. Can't convince the party to play Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Not their, musual, not their music, the actual band. The epic villain killing weapon requires a quest to obtain, not $35 at Pruitt's guns and ammo. I won't mention a celebrity that causes another gamer to go all stalker. Sorry in advance, Ginny Mai. Before we start a band of pirates, let's make sure the game isn't set in a landlocked nation. Even if the rules allow it, I can't have a saber-toothed walrus. Even if I buy enough for everyone, Snuggies alone will not raise crew morale. If I get to pick my position on the, in a star-spanning empire, can't pick fire chief. Even if the rules allow it, can't, go on, can't be on good terms with an organization sworn to destroy me. It doesn't matter what I rolled, my orc can't have a space surfboard. N not using any emission from the barbarian as flamethrower fu fuel. My troll's biography will not include the phrase, sweet, sweet love. My battle cruiser does not include a discotheque, bowling alley, IMAX, or strip joint. Can't have a gun capable of using other PCs as ammo. The druid does not have to change sides every time the tide changes. Can't target a ship's radiator, or the starship's radiator. <coughs> Can't make a bluff check to convince the monster I actually hit him. Strapping dynamite to an arrow is an acceptable cliche, but not the whole keg of gunpowder. Let's not see how far I can lower crew morale before the game begins. Even if the rules allow it, the Soviet National Anthem doesn't qualify for inspirational musical ability. When told to play a teenage high school girl, that doesn't include East German swimmers named Sergei. Despite what you think, taking out a child molester with extreme prejudice doesn't restore my humanity. Getting uppity is not a capital offense, even to a rogue trader. No taking peace activists as favorite enemies because they're easy targets. Before we have the bard loot the dungeon, make sure he's clear on the spelling. No starting fight club. Remember to take the helmet off before I use my acid spit ability. Darth Vader does not need his air filter changed. Deer season is restricted to rifle or bow, not Greco-Roman. A drunken master is a feared martial artist. A drunken journeyman is not every fifth, every fifth level dwarf. No result on the impact critical F chart reduces, reduces a foe to base elemental components. See, I remembered Rollmaster Hal. Even if we're short on cash, no starting a telethon. Star Destroyers don't have help desks. Can't take poison immunity, coat my food with cyanide, and then, and then see who's been stealing my lunch from the fridge. A talking animal sidekick is okay. One that sings Disney's tunes is roadkill. I won't ask how a 9 foot tall combat monster with no concept of subtlety starts with a plus 1D in stealth. Can't lure ninjas out of hiding with a game of Marco Polo. Even if the rules say otherwise, a huge back banner with an arrow pointing down at me causes a penalty to stealth checks. 
I will be back in a minute. I've got to go do another thing for the dog. Okay, that was unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah, no. This dog was being suspiciously quiet for a reason. So, yeah. Yeah, I gotta go clean that up later. Okay, let's sign it. We're at 1840, so we've got like 600 of these left. Okay. I might be able to get through this. We've only been talking for two hours. Okay, doesn't matter if I get bonuses for eating fallen foes. No spending requisition on condiments. No using ventriloquism to trick the corn berserkers into slaughtering each other. You can't suplex a lictor. You can't land the drop pot on the villain. Even if the rules say otherwise, I can't actually use 500 grenades in a single mission. I will use the security skill to open the door, even if it's just easier to rip it off the hinges. If the orc makes his check to solve higher mathematics, his head doesn't explode. No picking a sorcery that's actually unplayable is written. Slapping a fake mustache on the free Buddha doesn't count as a disguise check. There is too an elven word for monogamy. There's also an elven word for heterosexual. Can't use wood chippers as shotguns against vampires. Afros are not acceptable haircuts for adeptes Astartes. I can't chew gum during chapter briefings, even if I was brought even if I brought enough for the entire Space Marine chapter. TSR is not hiding golden tickets in Mastara Gazetteers. Using a barber's razor to, as a bar, as a weapon does not make me a barbarian. I will refer to the radar contact as a Blitzer 72 main battle tank, and not just as a, a TPK TPK in a can. No unloading all my unremaining all my remaining ammo into the last guy, so I don't have to carry it back with me. The answer to how to spell sousaphone is V-E-T-O. No, no challenging death to a game of tic-tac-toe until he gets bored and quits, ensuring my immortality. Summary Execution Man is not an appropriate name for a superhero, even if it's accurate. I can't take a favored enemy I can't kill for another ten levels. Even if the rules allow it, I can't hit shoot a cannon. I will stop asking the Ultramarine why his chapter's primary color is an Ultramarine. Even if the Paladin starts with P and that rhymes with T, it doesn't stand for trouble. No wasting Music Man references on a 10th grader. Even if the rules allow it, I can't have a poisonous LAS cannon. Can't have a gun that reduces people to Rorschach's tests. Playing the Who doesn't give me a bonus to forensics checks. You can't count coup with power weapons. If I'm invited to play a one-shot with a new DM, can't play a serious straight-laced character. No tricking the tech priest into dividing by zero. My rogue trader can't upgrade his ship with an ice rink, duck blind, or vomitarium. Stormtroopers only fall for the broken comm link trick so many times. Even if the elves are a dying race, they can't start a forced breeding program. Before I make the seduction check, I will reread the description of the swinging knack. I will stop telling the new players gnomes, comes from, gnomes come from Sferf Neblia. I will stop asking the high elf for a hit. Elves are not all backstabbing, untrustworthy weasels, but you never hear about a dark gnome, do you? The halfling's natural enemy is not the pedophile. 
Elves are not piercing weapons by default. No shooting the Quarren at the start of the adventure, even if it would have immediately solved the last four in adventures instantly. The monk counts as adamantine when attacking, not when being used as a battering ram. Even if the rules allow it, my fighter can't carry a clan of halflings in his pack without penalty. If a PC gets taken out by a deer, we can't recruit the deer to replace him. Considering we don't have a TARDIS or a bag of holding, we can stop speculating on how they would interact. Can't trick the, uh, ga the Game Master into starting a conversation between the Doctor and Inspector Columbo. If I use the leap skill to individually jump over every goon in the room when I reach the other side, I can't demand to be made royalty. Even if the rules allow it, my Marine can't requisition a Rolex. Slapping a melt -a bomb on the Emperor's Children Marine and putting his resulting efforts to get it off on YouTube gets me a corruption point. My rogue trader doesn't have to spend requisition points on feminine hygiene products. Dreadnoughts do not get conjugal visits. No matter what the, rule, what the module says, slaughtered and dissected scientists cause more sanity loss than frozen dogs. Can't take speaks in third person court just so I can use the lyrics to battery as an attack plan. No mounting my rival's anti-graving plating on his ceiling. The escaped fugitive background doesn't include from Disney teen musicals. Even if they have blonde hair, blue eyes, and are proud of their physical perfection, Asimir do not appreciate Sieg Heil's. Assist other actions help in combat, not with crossword puzzles. No hiring Anakin Skywalker some Twilight hookers, thus removing his reason to become Vader. The target's current zip code has no bearing on my called shot. Verbena are not water-soluble. Even if my Jedi has a Scottish accent, he can't have a plaid lightsaber. Playing a Gamorrean does not violate anyone's religion. No ruining the game by informing the DM the Yellow Power Ranger is dead. Prepping for the adventure means memorizing spells and buying gear, not coming up with a safety word. No nailing the, the Game Master's girlfriend's character. I will stop asking permission before performing an autopsy in another character's hideout. No putting the villain's fake bio on Match.com and letting the stalkers do my work for me. <coughs> No matter what the rules say, my psychotic racist character doesn't get a permanent persuasion bonus just because she puts out. Combat boots do not give bonuses to CPR checks. I don't need to know the melting point of or orcs. Even if the rules allow it, I can't one-shot guys with a feather duster. No more surprise parties for the Berserker. Can't post, it, can't post date a letter of Mark. Can't abuse the Bogan's weakness for getting to get free babysitting. The, followings are, the following are not acceptable specialties for a weapon master. Mustard gas, cheese graters, sardonicism. Even if the rules allow it, sniper scopes do not give bonuses to shotguns. The ability to do anything, as long as it's not that hard, is not a real superpower. No using the time machine to give Nostradamus a sneak peek at the future. Again. There is no need for a dark brooding vigilante of the night in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Shakedown is not an art skill specialty. In the middle of a Black Ops, can't run up the, car the target's cable bill by ordering pay-per-view movies on his TV. Can't air bump the king from behind while he's performing demagoguery. Air hump, sorry. Uh, electro electrokinetics are not allowed anywhere near the president's teleprompter. Despite what the rules say, shooting another PC in the head does not improve morale. Can't disguise a nuclear bomb to look like me. DMs do not appreciate being dubbed. Can't filibuster other characters. No one is going to buy the disguised Wookiee as a Jawa with a pituitary problem. Ayn Rand has no effect on my alignment. The Wizard's Familiar does not have to save versus leg hump. Mark six power armors. Drawback is not random chicken noises. I will stop telling the elf. He, he, I, will, I will stop telling people the elf is openly fey. No part of the elven cloak is actually made out of elves. Breaking the fourth wall does not require a strength check. It's not possible to become addicted to healing spells. You don't have to be lawful evil to be sentenced to Devil's Island. It's not my fault you can defeat the Labyrinth by just making right turns. When the game designer asked my opinion about the new edition of his game, open weeping is not appreciated. Even if the rules allow it, I can't parry an artillery barrage with my fist. Parry blasting the distress signal from orbit is forbidden, even if it would have avoided the last six ambushes. Kunari are not automatically angered by the color red. Can't distract the villain by sending him a text. I will not attempt to nomoform Faerun. Even if the king is represented by a miniature, I can't put him in checkmate. No prisoner gets special treatment, even if he does look like Robert Goulet. No improvising, winging, or fabricating funeral rites. Can't use teleport to convince the villain's henchmen that he's seeing things. 
Having an electro tech in the party doesn't mean I get to leave my phone charger at home. Can't, can't free the hostage with a surprise game of Red Rover. Not allowed to start the campaign having sex, especially with another PC. Can't use the international dateline to get around once per day restrictions. There is no bluff check in the world that gets around divine retribution. A lifetime subscription to Cosmo is not an elven racial bonus. Swedish accents are great for Vikings. Ninjas? Not so much. No tagging the sleeping dragon with Bilbo was here. If we all play, if we all end up playing illuminated martial arts superheroes protecting the Madlands from the Kator, we will reselect the source books again with our eyes open. There is no way to diplomatically ask Gaius if he's going to finish that sentence. The breast, dwarven breast milk is not 180 proof. No using the time machine to make Christ the keynote speaker at the atheist convention. I will not use the commune spell to find out who is John Galt. No more spending, no, no spending more points than the villain to make his assistant more loyal to me. There is more combat than a called shot to the face with a double barrel, despite what the dice say. If I can't use the dwarf to beat a guy to death, that includes beating him against the dwarf. No talking Hoster into suing Voldemort for trademark infringement. Can't send the party out on an epic quest just to get some alone time with the missus. Even if the rules allow it, I can't play a Viking mad scientist. A Shimsu Heru Kamikaze pilot is funny once. Even if there is no name convention giving, naming convention given, Talvashoth are probably not named Larry. I will keep all the eldritch artifacts of ungodly power out of the reach of children. Even if I need to practice it, if I'm playing Batman, I will lose the Russian accent. Giving my, giving my media the paparazzi template does not actually cause humanity loss. No, pro, no probating Dunkel Zahn's will. I will quit pestering the tech priest on whether he's AC or DC. Despite what the rules say, you don't actually have to be a 19th level bard to play Alice's Restaurant Massacre. No using the weapon critical charts to play bingo. The identify spell doesn't work on mystery meat. If I manage to roll up a half ogre knight errant on 3d6 straight down, no gloating. Naming the half the half ogre sirloin of beef is gloating. The University of Wisconsin does not have branches in Lankmar, Waterdeep, or Blackmoor. The druid can't transform into a sports car, even if we douse him with water. No wrecking the Millennium Falcon in the prologue. If the Game Master's pet NPC has tons of plot armor, we can't use her for cover. Even if it is the coolest spell ever, we can't go around just exploding people. A paladin of the God of Obituary's job is not just to kick butt and take names. The surprise in the surprise round comes from its speed, not from the shattered eardrums of the breaching charge. When asked to be the party tank, they didn't mean an Abrams. After the battle, my Astartes is to spend his time training and in meditation, not choreographing Gilbert and Sullivan numbers. No result on the critical hit chart splits the atom. <coughs> Can't set the Death Star to stun. Even if we crash the opening of the last eight, it crashed in the opening of the last eight adventures, we still have to name our new starship. Medium well is not a phaser setting. I can't fly standing. I can't fly standing up. Squeezing a termagant like bagpipes isn't going to turn him into a machine gun. There is no instant replay in Hackmaster. The proper response after making a very tough bluff check is not a touchdown dance. If any player ends up with if any player ends up in lingerie, the game is over. Better believe if I berserk for two hours straight, I'm going to feel that in the morning. The Wookiee is not allowed anywhere near conditioner. The evil twin flaw doesn't count if he's fraternal. Despite what the dice just said, I am not the personal god of Michael Phelps' agent. And that's 2,000, so let's see how much do I got to drink here. Okay, 600 to go. A saber-toothed tiger is not an acceptable second in a duel. No flashbacks to the death of the, dispository exp the disposable expository NPC at the start of the adventure. Any gun whose damage is best described in scientific notation is vetoed. Just because I took the large advantage does not let me rampage through Tokyo at will. Can't program the probe droid to go through light speed through that Star Destroyer. Boy, that aged badly. Tor torpedo spheres do not just go off on accident. No taunting Darth Maul with the fact that Uncle Owen had more lines, more screen time, and a more memorable death. No spending money from the Raised Dead Fund on ice cream. I will make sure when the Game Master asks what my fetish is, if he means voodoo bags or brunettes with short hair. Improvised tact evasion is not a real spell. There is no easy way to tell a guy he named his genetically engineered uber space Mongolian after Genghis Khan's wife. Apothecaries can't perform emergency skullectomies. 
I can't convince the entire Pantheon all, to all take spiders as their fourth domain. In the middle of the Black Ops, I don't have time to set all the, target phone, the target's phone handsets to maximum volume. If World War III is looming, I will not spend all my character advances on just liberal arts degrees. While extremely cool, my superhero needs more than just a gun that fires badgers at people. Off-duties Astartes wear robes and not wife beaters and speedos. Spending my rank 4 instead of rank 5 priority on human does not make me more human than human. Even if the elf fails his willpower check, oh, we don't need to change him. There is only one mounting option for Mr. Stud. This is not optional. Even if it's used correctly, branding irons do not count as, do not count as non-lethal weapons. I will refrain from any activity that could turn the entire party of smoking piles of Lederhosen. Using my runic powers to provide a light show for my skull's musical performance is abusing Groomfower's gift. Uh, despite how practical it would be, we have no need for a Draconizum tuba. There is no such thing as shotgun exterminatus. We will not try to bring back nipples as a fa superhero fashion statement. Bjornings fully understand the concept of personal space. Even if the rules allow what a called shot to the eyes with a sledgehammer isn't very practical. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't order 1,500 pizzas to be delivered to the target the next day. Elves do not get a racial bonus to the skill interior design. Even if the kids love it, the Cone of Cold spell is not for creating toboggan rides, po making toboggan rides possible in August. If I ever trick the DM into telling us the only way to make money mining is to work the shaft, all my characters die. Not just in this game, either. Even if the rules allow it, I can't conduct a television interview and maintain a chokehold at the same time. I can't spend all of my starting points to build a renaissance version of Las Vegas. Cylons do not have a four-year lifespan. Darth Harmonious is not a real Sith Lord. No matter how many times it's already been retconned, I can't change the story of the origins of the Sith every time we play. Even if it's a friendly pickup game, it's a bad idea to, pick, to dunk on Vader. I, remember, I will remember Captain Rice has the immunity NPCs with no names advantage. Characters with the curious disadvantage are not acceptable substitutions for the identify spell. There are no additional bonuses to guessing the right card if we're playing Go Fish with a deck of many things. An attempt to breed bear owls is doomed to failure. If I knock out Ryu while I'm blocking, it's time to retire the character. If I'm not allowed to go back in time to kill the villain, I just can't bring him to the present as a child either. No scanning the periodic tables for an unused element to base my superhero around. The very thought of improving my humanity by osmosis costs humanity. Dwarven ale does not double as jet fuel, industrial solvent, or colic medicine. No secretly setting the Netrunner's modem interface to 8-bit. No matter how pissed off the Verbana makes me, I can't put her on Glenn Beck's mailing list. Can't use the bureaucracy skill to indefinitely delay arrival going through customs. Yeah, that didn't make any sense to me either. DMs do not appreciate the Socratic method. The following are not acceptable favored enemies. Tories, cartoon characters, and Wichita Falls. If the Game Master is a woman, can't play a Space Otter to gain cute points. If the r rules require me to multiply several stats by 10,117 to get another stat, I can't do that longhand in protest. I will keep trying to keep the number of pages the DMs rips out of his playtest binder to a minimum. I can't stealthfully follow the villainous ru wizard and backstab him every time he tries to cast a spell. Even if every rogue in the wizard does it to every rogue in the world does it to our wizard. My druid will stop insisting we place all expended magic items in the appropriate recycling bin. No uploading to the villain's electro tat the video of me shooting him. Even if I no longer lose sanity around them, you can't domesticate night gaunts. When describing my superhero, I will stop at Molly Ringwald Mand. Note to self, pinata golems are a bad idea. Even if I have enough rope and have nine rounds a turn, I can't garota hydra. Despite Hawkman, Batman, Ant-Man, and Spider-Man, Red Snapper-Man is not a legitimate superhero name. The wish spell can't affect the order of the alphabet. Even if I buy off the nemesis advantage, doesn't mean we still can't be enemies. Snipers do not appreciate their spotter yelling out boom headshot. Can't have a gun that can inflict lethal damage with just the bullet's wind shear. If my character's name is not, not an anagram, I will tell the DM this before he spends 30 minutes rearranging the letters. No explaining the battle plans to the tune of a Jerry Reed song. The spell is heat metal, not detect piercings. Even if the corporation prefers ter PC terminology, an interrogation is not kinetic information retrieval. Power word sarcasm is not a real spell. 
Even if the rules might allow them, we can't all play Augurn Warcasters, which they could, which they didn't allow, which they they gave us that, that but they didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. I will not give in to temptation when presented with a decanter of endless water and an opening to the Underdark. Just because I can does not mean I have to land my Veritek like Iron Man on the deck of the carrier every single time. If I am commissioned to buy an artillery gun or to build an artillery gun, that doesn't mean a gun that fires howitzers. If I abandon the game for alone time with my fiance, my PC dies. Ask me if I freaking care. Just because the DM prefers DM, my, just because my DM prefers D and D to alone time with a smoking hot fiance, doesn't mean the party gets to question his gender preference. During the time of troubles, I can't forward my prayers to another god. The Bohemian earspoon is not an appropriate weapon for a paladin, or anyone else for that matter. Horn dog is not a real dwarven cast. No matter how successful, our party has to be more than five wiz or a wizard and five pikemen. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey Dwarfs is not the new Dwergar source book. We can't steal all the treasure for the magical, the giant magical scales, even if we do undertake an engineering project that dwarfs the Hoover Dam. My legionnaire ha can't spend resources on a 16-ton weight he so he can drop on people with his mind later. Kunari don't take smiling damage. No matter what experience says, West Virginians do not make the best mythos investigators. If I have to build a second warehouse to store all my spare magic items, time to retire the character. Even if it is a real way, way to kill someone, I can't burk the bad guy. The following are not real cyberpunk festivals. Night City Comic Con, the Kill It Festival, and Grenada Palooza. We can't just target the villain Starfighter even if it's just even if even if it's the only one of its type in the battle. Before entering dinner room, we don't have to delouse the Dalish. We can't trick the dragon into swallowing a, a drunk a shrunken dire porcupine and then ending the spell while he swallows. Lichtenstein has no need for weapons of mass destruction. Can't trick the time-traveling bad guy into a shootout with his past self. We aren't looking at the various kingdoms' tax rates before deciding where to dungeon crawl. Vecna was not the inventor of the organ donor card. Even if I took it with me with the full intention of using it, a manhole cover counts as an improvised weapon. Since they don't participate in the Olympics, I can stop writing Ryla's national anthem. No matter how big these sewers seem to be, we aren't finding a Shipley's Donuts down here. There are more uses to ninjutsu than just dodging process servers. I will not make any plan that hinges on the medicinal value of dire wombats. Even if he is lawful evil, the villain isn't going to respond to jury summons. They don't make civilian models of chain guns. Hmm? Yeah. Infravision no longer works like thermographic vision, so I can stop trying to hide from the elf by smearing myself with mud. You can't crank start a warjack. Tharn are not allowed to take cooking skills. Even if I have the model for so Tixis can't be disc jockeys. It doesn't matter if he's a son of Brag. Hey baby, it's not a Trollkin mating call. Trollkin cannot puff out their cheeks like or like frogs. Warjacks do not prefer bacon flavored coal. Kadorian's primary weakness is not temperate weather. I can't saddle break a dire troll, a Kodiak warjack, or the butcher. I can't clear out a dungeon by just throwing a ball down the entrance and telling the nomad warjack to fetch. Just because the Nist decided to become a fire sorcerer doesn't mean she hates her parents. One does not just whip up a priest of Loviatar. I will not buy skills for weapons that don't exist yet. No more arguing whether my Ogren looks more like Fabio or Lorenzo Lamas. The Ogren language does not sound like the Ewok victory song. Elves do not squirt ink out of their nipples as a defense mechanism. Elves also do not sec secrete a foul-tasting oil when threatened. The reason elves lived in force is not to protect them from the eagles that swoop down and grab them up. No re-gifting cursed items on Christmas. The DM will notice if the entire party is named after the Houston Texans offensive line. No matter how close to lunch it is, the halflings do not have to make a saving throw versus cannibalism. There will be no more arguing on whether Eowyn could have killed Macbeth or Macduff would have killed the Witch King. The following haircuts are forbidden to Ogren, Pompadours, Flock of Seagulls, and TV's Franks. The elf punk has more options in her downtime than just accordion practice and torture porn. I will refer to the other player's sidekick as her name and not just your make-believe Chinese lesbian girlfriend. Yeah, that game didn't end well. My first priority in the apocalypse is not finding a monster truck or finishing my Lord Humongous costume. The apocalypse was probably not caused by grips, mimes, or French maids. Despite Hollywood's claims, not all renegade cops keep miniguns under their desks. 
If my starting Star Wars characters is immediately set upon by an escaped Rifts character, wadding up my character sheet and throwing and adding is not an appropriate form of surrender. Before resorting, resorting to burlesque, we will explore all other options on how to sneak past the security camera. I can't make an acquisition test in the middle of a combat to hire away the rival rogue trader's crew. I will not let the GM threaten me with do your worst if my character is based on Fade Rawutha. Even if I am playing a Ravenwing Marine, I have to get off the motorcycle eventually. If the game retcons my character's god, I will not start the orthodox faith of the old version of the god. You can't critically hit with a nuclear weapon. Even if the rules allow it, you can't slip an object into a person's pocket if the object is larger than the person. After clearing out the dungeon, I won't animate all the dead orcs and leave behind the copper pieces so the next party won't be totally disappointed. No matter how many points I put into perform, I can't use my mandolin as my sole method of communication. Wishes have no effect on errata. I will stop referring to a Satixis as two-pointers. Satixis don't shed their horns every fall like elk. Satixis aren't related to Kunari. There will be no more jokes about the D GM's horny bikini-wearing pirate chick fetish. When I'm asked if I'm cross-playing, they didn't mean if my character... If, why, when asked if I'm cross-playing, they didn't mean if my character was Christ. You can't plea bargain regicide. The cryokinetic's default job is not to protect the cooler. Just because my dwarf hits name level doesn't mean we owe him a bar mitzvah. Getting four guys together, each with a different 25% mythos lore, doesn't mean we, we win Call of Cthulhu. The fur and lust domain shall never meet. No reminding, that my, no reminding my lieutenant that Niedermeyer can be used as a verb. Getting multiple entries in the game's first errata is not a badge of honor. Even if my metamagician has twin enhanced, empowered, maximized magic missile ready, does not mean I get to tell people to make my day. Doesn't matter if we have different costumes and names, the group is vetoed if it's clear that we're all four. Using my animal influence ability to send countless animals on a suicide attack is fine, but not to form a chorus line. Just because my media only puts the bare minimum in his journalistic skills doesn't mean he starts out at MSNBC. The ability to calculate Thaco in your head does not increase attractiveness. In invoking Andre the Giant only works once to win an argument with the storyteller. I can't requisition items nobody else in the squad knows how to use. Before we start an underwear-clad pillow fight, I must make sure the party is not all dwarves. There will be no further product placement in the mission evaluation videos. To cut down on the number of Mexican standoffs, there is only one commissar allowed in the squad now. The Weeping Angel's natural enemy is not the goldfish. The answer is never Dwarven River Dance. No starting a bidding war during character creation to see who the pet NPC likes best. Can't use a water gun to make the Aslan follow orders. Step one in the party's preparation for the quest is not a mani petty. Can't reduce the difficulty of the autopsy check by skipping the put everything back where you found it step. Even if it's beneficial, no changing the number of limbs on a character without the other player's consent. Better benefits doesn't justify alignment conflicts with an organization. If another uh, player character dies, no bonus XP for going th all th through all seven stages of grief before the end of the session. It's best if we don't let the paladin anywhere near customs. Even if calling out characters for critical hits is encouraged, no talking the critical hit monster into naming his character Skior. Plan A is not to spend is plan A is not to send in the Doom Reaver and wait for the screams to stop. Despite what you think, the profession dentist can't substitute for the interrogation skill. My hi my <coughs> my werebear can't hibernate through the boring expository part of the uh, at the beginning. Even if I can justify a Viking with a maxed out legal skill, that doesn't give me a law degree. Dentists don't practice dental hygiene by having small birds pick their teeth clean. Mechalists are not just bored with better PR. Distract the bad guy does not mean with a called shot to his appendix. No hacking the target Metacorp but to put out a recall notice for their securities firearms. Despite its tremendous cost to benefit ratio, bubble wrap is not a staple of black ops. My character in an anthro RPG is meant to be an anime furry cliche and not an escapee from Looney Tunes. No matter how many examples I give, a flamethrower cannot boost morale. The primary use of a druid's nature lore is not to learn the mating calls of various fey creatures. The second book of Gretzky appears nowhere in the Canadian Bible. Can't take energy blasts with infinite range and the ability to shoot through the TV and just channel surf the news. When challenged by a dwarf king, I can't pick basketball. 
The villain will eventually notice the train tracks are starting to point straight at his front door. Inspire Courage is a great superpower unless you use it to get hordes of innocent bystanders to bum rush the supervillain. No questioning the marshal on why a town of 4,000 people and no strategic value warranted a 100, ton mega, 100 megaton nuke. Bladder control is not an appropriate superhero power. When listing the advantages of elves to the new player, I will leave off Shatterproof. Rings of Fire Resistance offer no protection from rug burn. When the villain is hiding from us, can't just call him on his cell. No animal companions come in their prehistoric version. If I just cast 17 fire spells in the Druid's Sacred Grove, a simple sorry is not going to cut it. Just because they don't have rules for them, Canadians can still be companions for the Doctor. When I take watch, everybody must wake up with the same number of limbs they went to sleep with. Even if the rules allow it, the spell command summarize can't speed up the, can't speed up the plot exposition. The restrictions on guns extends to all buildings used for higher education. The Commissar will not be pleased if our entire plan is 1. Ask for a Bane Blade, and 2. Roll low. Create a distraction doesn't mean with walruses trained in ballroom dance. We are not stopping the villain with small mammals armed with power tools. My, fa my favorite enemy just must be more than just Claire. My tech priest will refrain from developing emotional attachments to the ordinance. I will remember that if any of my samurai sounds like t uh, Takeshi Shimura, we will all end up sounding like Takeshi Shimura. Mm. If I have to change my samurai's voice, I will pick something that doesn't make him sound like a native of Guadalajara. The DM doesn't want to hear about the pointlessness, pointlessness of framing an Asimar paladin for murder. In the middle of a black ops, the target's elevator music selection is off limits. Deer season is restricted to rifles or bows, not brass knuckles. Despite what the rules imply, multiple held actions do not, infer, do not interfere with the flow of time. Can't spot the paladin hiding in the thieves guild by looking f for the guy breaking out in hives. Multiclassing to a fighter mage thief is fine. A, ra a fighter mage thief Reagan Democrat is not. We don't have to consult a neurologist every time somebody fails a paralysis save. No casting haste on the fighter while he sleeps to see how long it takes for him to notice all the new gray hair. No using every possible special rule for combat in the first fight of the campaign. If a conjured monster does exceptionally well in combat, I won't ask him for his resume. The fine trap spell doesn't work on dating websites. Stone to flesh spells are banned in all major art galleries. Anesthetic is not just for sissies. Personal effects are enough to provide prove that we stop the villain. No more bringing back his zombified corpse. The concept of vowels are not alien to dwarves. The first thing you do in Bangkok after clearing customs is not make an alignment check. No asking the elf how they make it to 1,000 years old with such a crappy fortitude save. It's thieves can't, not illegalese. Even if we were told to use all of it, we can't use the extra explosives for public display of affection for my girlfriend. The spell is called Dancing Lights, not Detect Epilepsy. When discussing target examples of target sizes, there will be no mention of areolas. Cause disease doesn't let you pick the, cause, the disease caused, so I can stop reading the symptoms of Kuru. No abusing homonyms. Just because Orle doesn't have a shogun doesn't mean I can declare myself one. Even if it would be awesome in real life, immunity, bureaucracy is not an, and is not an acceptable super powerful, superpower. Christian Baleful Polymorph is not a real spell. The returning ability on magical weapons does not make me does not let me make a fortune at pawn shops. Under no circumstances is modern art purchases coming out of the team fund. Though there are many ways to become a god, buying a Gibson Les Paul and maxing out the performed skill isn't one of them. Fantastic in the sheets is not an appropriate character focus. Even if the rules allow it, no asking a dread destroyer for favors. Buying the crew the best quality underwear in the sector isn't going to increase morale. On second thought, rhythm guitar is not an appropriate focus for a bard. Ammunition is not just for closers. No basing our, super our epic powered superhero group in Terre Haute. Even if the rules allow it, no trading in our laser guns for muskets to play sharps rifles in space! No abusing union bylaws to exploit holes in security. Even if I take the total recall trait, I can't remember all quarter million crew on my, on my ship by their first name. Even if I haven't had anything to do for several hours, no updating Facebook in the middle of a black ops. No calling a city councilman to settle an argument about dwarves. 
When a dwarf goes to the surface for the first time, I can't cast Levitate on him. Gandalf never had a lavender phase. Covering myself in mud doesn't make me invisible to the elf. In the middle of a Black Ops, I can't delete the guards we killed from their HR database. I cannot play anything with a blowhole. Even if my character is Welsh, his name has to include vowels. In the middle of a Black Ops, we can't call, call a lot of long-distance phone sex numbers and just leave their phones off the hook. Even if I'm allowed to design my own gun, I can't make a .314 Magnum pistol. Visual joke. My Kunari cannot join the Church of Giantology. No picking a god based on solely, on solely on the number of paid religious holidays they offer. If we're level one, we can't blow up the planet. The runestones did not just say the princess needs to get naked. Even if my character is from Chicago, he still only gets one vote in party matters. I will remember to use any of the performed burlesque skill, or I will remember that any use of the performed burlesque skill is going to require a full turn for my bard to get dressed again. Immunity to blast damage does not help against the fallout of another character's, another player's stupidity. When the GM says I can have any weapon classified as archaic, that doesn't include trebuchets. When in the presence of a god, it is not the best time to bring up the topic of reformation. Can't switch religions in the middle of the game. No auctioning off my faith between the various temples. No converting to religions from other games. The paladin does not have to run a background check on new PCs before they join the group. Can't pick a religion based solely on the greatest number of sexual positions allowed. I am not trans-elven. Dis Disguising the party of Signarins require more than just buying a whole bunch of goggles. I will not name my character Bab Thaco. If the character says he will reimburse our expenses, no turning the ep mission into an epic continent-spanning quest. Especially if the original mission was kill all the goblins in this cave. No abusing the thaumaturgy spell by slamming doors in the face of missionaries, inventing the clapper, or constantly imp impersonating Brian Blessed. If we, we aren't starting 5th edition by finding Elminster in the shower wondering about 4th edition. Bringing the goblins to justice doesn't mean knocking them all out and marching them back for public apology. Our first encounter can't end with me hugging a bugbear telling, telling him how much I missed him. There is no such thing as a belt of Norwegification. If I am not assigned that 18 I just rolled, I am not assigning that 18 I just rolled to my necromancer's charisma. I will remember the basic set is still incomplete and ignore all the under construction signs. I, I can only pick two of the following for my character. Dwarf, Berserker, Battering Ram, Fireproof, and Light Source. We are not using the dwarf's back hair to make any of the following. Rope, sweater, quilt, or hot air balloon. I will not force the rookie to pick sides in the eternal banded male debate. Even if the breakup was bad, naming my ex as my ranger's favorite enemy puts me as a creepy, puts out a creepy stalker vibe. Even if the rules allow it, my gladiator's starting weapons cannot be the trident and bagpipes. Even if he, even if he is a mysterious entity whose nature is utterly foreign to the fabric of reality, Andy Kaufman does not count as a great old one. Even if the rules allow it, I can't have proficiency in every skill by level six. No casting guards and wards on the house of people that annoy me. I will stop casting Awaken on the other party members' horses. Even if they are half the cost of war horses, I can't just buy elephants for the entire party. My gnome won't drunk call the Elf Mark II that didn't make the cut in the new edition. When asked for typical barbarian settings, I can't name Camden, New Jersey. The Bond ex-husband can't be applied to every female character in the party. I will stop assuming all drow no drizzit. It's cute when you train your hamster to attack your, their eyes. Your weasel, not so cute. Not so much. Even if the rules allow it, the entire party can't be can't be raised by the same wolf. The party's mutual bond cannot be former members of the Funky Bunch. I can't bribe the dwarf with an offer of putting him up for stud. Kissing up, kissing up to a dragon until he gives me this, a minor, uh, give, gives us a minor item is acceptable. Slapping us with a restraining order, not so much. Can't use the summon monster spell to redefine the term trolling someone. 12 degrees of success on my charm test doesn't automatically earn me a commissarial back rub. Successfully grappling the roper does not let me uh, use him to play double dutch with the thief. Even if the rules allow it, no using plaid colored light spells to mess with the guard's perception of movement. If I challenge death to a game, picking campaign for North Africa doesn't ensure immortality. Despite what the rules say, a ghillie suit does not make me invisible in the St. Patrick's Day parade. No matter what it would do to his spell, casting chances, I can't cast Shrink on the Necromancer's underwear. You can only make so many called shots to the groin until it's an alignment check. 
Athletic scholarship is not an acceptable excuse for the sage background for a half-orc barbarian. After cleaning out their lair, I can't put all the newly petrified medusas in my front yard as decorations. I will not finish any sentence containing the phrase blink ferrets. I need to stop, coming, I need to stop coming up with excuses to keep referencing page 73 of the Dungeoneer Survival Guide. No matter how rude it was, I will keep all my interactions with the magic mouth at the entry of the dungeon PG-13. Even if the rules allow it, no dual-wielding lances. Just because it's legal to dual-wield quarterstaves, tying two together do not give me dire nunchucks. My rogue will accept the fact that he can backstab a tri-drone, even if it doesn't have a back to stab. Okay. We aren't using Rosie O'Donnell for a unit of measurement any, for any aspect of Warjack. Yes, the Demolition Corps has a dress uniform. No, it's not steam-powered. Just because I bought my dice bag at the Vatican doesn't mean my dice are Catholic. Despite the book's claim, using a double negative in the protective Minoth does not bring down a death sentence. Before making my last wish, I will make sure everybody in the party actually wants Patagia. My woad-clad pick will stop calling the lady knight critical of his chainmail bikinis and overdressed prude. Just because acid is considered a damage type and alkaline isn't doesn't mean the DM has a pH imbalance. Just because damage has, is non-lethal doesn't mean I can stop beating, uh, beating him for hours. Garal come in grizzly, kodiak, and polar varieties, not drop. The wife's side of the family is not an acceptable choice for the favored enemy. Even if it's a gladiator campaign, we can't all be Spartacus. When asked why the Feywald isn't in the campaign, self-inflicted nuclear holocaust is not the right answer. Even if the rules allow it, I can't have a clockwork kidney. That goes double for a steam-powered liver. While it is customary to initiate a duel by strong striking with a gauntlet, it's also customary to do it at subsonic speeds. I will make sure that the, any minor summoning spell is, gets us a lesser elemental and not jail bait. I will not use summon spells just for sticking someone else with the check. Even if the rules allow it, we can't be space ogre ninjas. When providing pistols for a duel, they can't both be fingerprint locked just to me. Even if the rules allow it, I can't spend my XP to turn the crap sack setting into a functional Randian utopia. Lichtenstein does not have a challenge rating. Pendragon is not the best game to test Darwin's theories of survival of the fittest. I can't spend all my starting points on concubines. Every time the cat girl fails a skill check, I won't spritz her with the water bottle as punishment. I can't use the cat girl's tongue to remove paint from metal. Even if my character's lifespan is in centuries, I can't just pour salt water over the lock and wait. I, will also, I also can't spend all my character points on just one really awesome concubine. I will stop asking the Jesuit to teach me kung fu moves. No finding industrial uses for dark spawn. Step one of every plan just can't be set them all on fire. Even if my druid is immune to poison, it, means, it doesn't mean he can chug bleach with impunity. Can't clear out the dungeon with just engineering checks. I will not test the DM's knowledge on the rules for hypothermia, heat stroke, or dysentery. No more bringing, no more bringing more rule books to the game than the GM owns. Can't bribe a dragon with belly rubs. There is no such thing as medicinal melange. 4chan does not cause more sanity loss than Cthulhu. Just because the new edition is light on magic items doesn't mean I have to go through withdrawal. Even if we are all, even if we all conspire to do it, it's my fault if my character's name is forms a Jewish folk song. Can't spend all of my share of the loot on flamethrowers. I don't get bulk discounts when buying armies. I can't devote an entire deck of the battle cruise just to my mistress, battle cruiser to my mistress. Drug tests can't detect potions of speed. I should stop asking the lady of pain to R, the lady of pain to RSVP. Even if it's simple and obvious, even if it's the simple and obvious solution to the module. We aren't beating the adventure with lesbianism. The following are not acceptable seconds in a duel. Space Marine Chapters, Intelligent Dancing Purple Swords, and Prussia. The rulebook wasn't kidding about needing 5,000 people to hijack a Star Destroyer. Uh, even if the entire party is in total agreement, we aren't stopping the game to call the writer and correct his Texas history. Even if the villain doesn't have a phobia, uh, phobia of the blue-footed booby, I can't give him one. I will keep the amount of sexual innuendo to a minimum in the autopsy report. Even if I sew, sew them into a serape, I can't wear two magical capes at once. The control water spell is not for in spontaneous wet t-shirt contests. The name for the group of elves is not the faggot. Visual joke. While perform spoken word is acceptable for a bard, perform scat is not. 
I will remember the entire acid spray ability before I cause the company chaplain to spit take. The dwarven work ethic is not dig until we hit L evil. When granted a wish, I will use it to. Uh, when granted a wish, I will not use it to unsink the continent the immortals just destroyed. When making a wish granted by said immortals, I will leave out the words "you incompetent pricks." I will not just use a wish to turn Strahd back to human. No weaponizing the talisman of pure good. Just because they can't be the target of raised dead spells doesn't mean elves have no soul. In the middle of a black ops, can't organize a skeet shoot with the office furniture. When challenging death to a game, uh, running paranoia does not grant immortality. Raised dead spells are not just for closers. It doesn't matter where you hit him, you can't set a bard to shuffle. There is no such thing as nomophobia. I will not give anyone an unreasonable fear of gnomes. No matter how high my damage resistance is, I cannot name my dwarf tanky mctankity tank. Despite their ridiculously short lifespans, third level does not count as epic level for a Trugans. The plan is not to just let the villain beat on the dwarf until his arm gets tired. If I'm the druid, I can't put Protestant down as my religion. The teleporting spiders attacking us are not just going through a phase. The natural enemy of the elf is not the common cold. No wasting wishes trying to bring back Ultravision to the game. No picking the only form of travel the DM isn't familiar with. Traveling by sculling is nowhere near as cool as it sounds. Any character named Jim Cotta is going to be taken from me and burned. The Ferelden rule of succession is not just two men enter, one man leaves. When looking for a template to make a creature deadlier, Australian is not a legitimate choice. Just because I have the technology doesn't mean I need to make him better. Just because there are no rules for the, mag for the Beck to Corbin doesn't mean they don't exist. No starting wars over what's the best polearm. Can't give out a shout out and a ransom note. I can't bet Grazit my soul in a showdown over a golden oboe. Cleaning out all eleven in the, uh, of the Caves of Chaos in a single night is not what they meant by a dungeon crawl. I can't save money on identify spells just by having random peasants do a blind taste test on these potions I found. I can't save money on learning a new language just by learning the, only the profanity. The advantage friends in high places cannot be represented by Johnny Walker Blue. My wish cannot include the words and, addition, and additional, furthermore, or any synonyms thereof. That actually became a rule. Our posse cannot resemble an 80s British glam band without an explanation. The most dangerous weapon is not an Upio Wamacha and her construction equipment. Yes, they are the, prefer the perfect solution to all of our Deep One problems. No, we can't have depth charges. The barbarian can still berserk even if he hasn't had his morning coffee. Offering to buy the hostage I just ref rescued a new arm is not sufficient enough of an apology. Varger do not have the flaw ancestral enemy, United States Postal Service. No convincing Rahazia, he's just not worth it. Bargle the Infamous is not under a protection from continuity spell. If the quest is to retrieve a magical genie bottle, no shaking it up before handing it back over. I am required to tell the DM if the secret villain of the adventure is revealed on the back synopsis of the module screen. You can't teach a parrot power word kill. There is no danger from explosive decompression and teleporting a Dwergar directly to the surface. You better believe that wearing a Moomoo to the coronation gets you searched for halflings. If the party is black tie only, that doesn't mean just painted on the power armor. Even if she is a soul-sucking creature of unholy darkness, the cleric can't turn my ex-wife. My necromancer is not in charge of inhuman resources. Cleaning out the dungeon doesn't involve dressing up like ghosts and trying to scare them out. The positive energy plane doesn't charge a cover charge. Not allowed to see if it's possible to drown someone in a barrel filled with healing potions. Can't apply the Holy Avenger traits to siege weapons. The halfling wizard can't exploit the short rest rules by abusing the use of a papoose. A mandingo is not an Australian lycanthrope. If I have to guard the AV-8 during the Black Ops, no entertaining myself with the PA system, ejection seed, or cluster munitions. I can't fill my yard with adventurer-shaped statues to convince people it's a Medusa's lair so they fight me with their eyes closed. When I'm told a giant version of a creature is acceptable for my animal companion, that doesn't include the tortoise. Using dogs to keep late watch is fine. Howler monkeys? Not so much. I will not be the sole reason Carnival is cancelled this year. If another player's character has all the symptoms of a narcissistic personality disorder, a cure disease spell won't help. Not starting the adventure until we have exactly one elf in the party is not Tolkienism. Pointing out the gun will break the character's shoulder if fired in that position is not what they meant by a trigger warning. 
Scots do not go up faster do not go up faster in direct sunlight than de than uh, vampires. My rogue trader's crew will notice if she left out savior pods to make room for a bigger shoe closet. Firepower is not a substitute an appropriate substitute for the fellowship stat. We are not sneaking into the Golden Throne disguised as a documentary crew. No, I really don't want to know the profit factor cost for insurance on my Grand Cruiser. When facing the Taras, can't just gate in a black ball and sit back and watch. No complaining after the black ball takes out the Tarrasque when it starts doing donuts on the treasure pile. No threatening the Abolith, but with telling the Cajun restaurant his location. Aserac doesn't care about the Tomb of Horrors Yelp rating. <coughs> Even if my musketeer tore Richelieu from the French throne, it, I just didn't break the cardinal rule. If the storyteller gives me a drama die at 70 miles an hour aimed at my face, it wasn't a compliment. Any swashbuckler I'm building is vetoed if I'm watching a video to Adam Ant stand and deliver. Before taking advantage of the kids eat free offer, my hen has to at least shave. Saving the queen from a fashion disaster is a good thing. Or from, from saving the queen from a disaster is a good thing. A fashion disaster, not so much. My bard is now required to take a long rest between performances of Tarzan Boy. Can't name the Asimar Bard Petra Striper. Asimar Bards know more songs than just Disney tunes. My Asimar Bard is not, to, not allowed to resemble any member of the Wiggles. Despite their ability for mimicry, I can't have all my tomes copied by Kinkus. No, we can't steal the Death Star planets just by filling out the appropriate paperwork. A bard that plays like Bob Dylan is awesome. A bard that sounds like Bob Dylan, not so much. There is no such thing as a Dwarvish Poetry Guild. My bard does not have fourth does not have fourth class uh, has have a fourth classified oath only known to Omnicorp. No reminding the DM rules no reminding the DM the rules for parasitic invasion are on page thirteen of the Dungeon Master's Guide. I can't ask the dragon any uh, riddle with the answer being Yterbium. No leaving the future god of strife tied to a tree just because he's annoying. If I'm told to loop the feed for the video camera, they didn't mean with hardcore pornography. If we have to hide our weapons, no dumping the napalm into the fire sp sprinkler reserve tanks. No, rare, no narrating the after battle report in Jacques Cousteau's voice. The AV-9 is for air support, not beer runs. If ordered to see if anyone is in a building, no setting it on fire and seeing if anybody runs out. Just because I min-max the heavy artillery skill doesn't mean I get to spend the entire adventure drinking cocoa and listening to the radio. The rest of the party would like to know why I'm putting all my skill points in a nuclear warhead. Even if the rules allow it, I don't get a sustained fire bonus with nuclear weapons. Uh, my spotter is forbidden from playing I Spy with the sniper again. When told to distract the enemy, they didn't mean with a called shot to their flamethrower. Nobody appreciates the irony of drowning someone in a bucket full of potions of water breathing. Can't waterboard a triton with a t dry towel. Viking rites of secession typically don't have a swimsuit segment. The, that can't be said about Viking beauty pageants and their trial by combat segment. No convincing the party to play characters that, com that combined required 15 million XP before one of us reaches first level. Kirk Fu is not a real martial art. There is no heart genocide, so we're going to have to find some other way to be defeat Jubilex. In the middle of the Black Ops, we can't call the target's tech support to get help breaking into their computer network. Humor me is not an acceptable targeting parameter on the robotic sentry guns. I will not cause the Game Master to break down because his new game is seriously flawed and unplayable until after character generation. The sergeant's inquiry on why I need 10 rolls of duct tape for the Black Ops was not a rhetorical question. There is no bag limit on orcs. My untouchable rogue trader will stop getting cheap thrills by sneaking up on the astropath. It is not a race to strip mine the planet. No, the module is not fooling itself thinking I'm going to let that battleship power up and sail into deep space. No abusing the falling rules in the 5th edition to achieve faster than light travel in just 6 seconds. There is no place on the ship's bridge for my DJ booth. No using repulsors to turn the villain into a beach ball for my crew while I give my victory speech. Gaining my weapon mastery in the whip and earning a venom snake as my animal companion are mutually exclusive requirements. No using the teleportium on the hive city to guarantee my ship's rave isn't a bust. I will not spend a profit factor to make any to uh, acquire any major sports league franchise. Making a hat out of a bear's head is okay. A drow's head, not so much. D detect cliche 15 foot radius is not a real spell. No matter what the rules say, I can't catch an episode of Night Court between macro cannon shots. Any argument with my ex will be done verbally in person, not across the battlefield in semaphore. 
No summoning half a dozen shriekers into the fighter's room at 3 a.m. out of spite. Can't take out the Lich Lord in one turn with just a well-placed gate to the plane of vacuum. Even if, my care, even if my sidekick and I max out the artillery and forward observation skills, I still have to leave some bad guys for the rest of the party. Painting a flame job on the turtle isn't fooling anyone, especially him. Oh, what do we got? Two and a half pages. Okay, no combining the most lethal parts of the pogo stick and the slap chop. We need to clarify all hominin definitions before meeting the royal court. If my bard doesn't hurry up and learn another song other than Yakety Sax, the party is going to drown him. If I'm going to hide something, the best place to put it is not in the player's handbook index. I can't excuse my crappy ma map making skills with just the words not to scale. Michigan's Upper Peninsula does not have Wendigo Awareness Week in their schools. No one is going to believe the smoking crater was caused by the war pick malfunction. Trying to disguise your character as an anagram is great if you're Elminster. Bob, not so much. The Harpo Marx mirror trick doesn't work on Imperial Stormtroopers. Pole arms don't have a self-destruct mechanism. I can only fit so many depth charges on the bass boat before the Coast Guard gets suspicious. The Gnome Bar has a better selection than just 57 flavors of Zima. Even if the Gnome Bar only has 57 flavors of Zima, venison is not one of them. The best way to put out a fire is not to, put, not to reach realistic, relativistic speeds. I don't get advantage to track elves because of the lingering smell of Vidal Sassoon. At no point during the ritual do I get to ask Siri to read the rest of the exorcism for me. Even if it's true, you can't make more money in an X-boat updating porn libraries than just delivering the mail. Weapon smithing of mass destruction is not a real skill. Despite what the movie says, you actually have to spend XP to learn force powers. No matter what the rules say, I can't suplex a bull. I will stop putting all my Ogren's XP into buying advanced mathematics skills. Our options for the magically sleeping bugbears is kill or capture, not spay or neuter. The druid does not want to see my gnome's demonstration of the clear cut omatic. The words Albert Divorce Court does not appear anywhere in the plan. Druids do not appreciate being subtitled. There is no such thing as a 21 lawn dart salute. My blessed will not crib wedding vows from Black Sabbath's NIB. I can't defeat the rebel snow speeder's attack on my walker with the cheesy tactic of applying the brakes. Fanboying all over the mandatory Forgotten Realms DM NPC cameo character is frowned upon. Fanboying all over the mandatory Forgotten Realms DM cameo character until his enemies recognize him and take him out is really frowned on. Apparently the Australian Outback counts as an immediately lethal environment for the teleport spell's uh, restrictions. Even if the rules allow it, my untouchable can't sit behind the navigator and criticize his flying through the warp. Strahd is not taking in refugees, even if Barovi is a lot safer to live in than the Sword Coast. I can't use Siri as my ship's computer. Even if I can use Siri as my ship's computer, she's not going to vent crew members in the void on command. I can't infiltrate the druid drum circle and change, slowly change the beat to Velcro fly. I will stop making up books about spedums. My gnome is only allowed a war tuba if he learns, learns more songs than the theme to Jaws. There are numerous ways to kill large camps of bugbears. Dysentery is not one of them. The answer is never high quality 100% gnomish nose candy. There are only so many flavors of owlbear jerky. Even if the elf is fully rested after four hours into the long rest, he doesn't have to spend the other four hours doing his hair. Elves don't have to keep track of rouge like archers have to keep track of arrows. The halfling word for bad touch is not elf. It's going to take three minim, th It's going to take a minimum of three weeks for my starting paladin to reach twentieth level, even if we are playing in Ravenloft. Apparently, the Broken and Mourn lands aren't accepting re refugees from the Forgotten Realms either. When the party of gnomes finds a powerful two-handed sword that's too large for them, they can't just keep stacking gnomes on top of each other until they can. Before they throw the axe, I will make sure that it is automatically it is designed to automatically kill the enemy, and not just increase my skill at driving sled a sled through snow. When a brothel asks what I'm interested in, my answer cannot be the gauntlet. Even if the rules allow it, ghillie suits do not have a formal option. I can't get the Sphinx annoy. I can't get by the Sphinx riddle, especially if the answer is always Gwyneth Paltrow's severed head. My Ripper Doc better have more anesthetics in his bag than a couple of aspirins and a warm can of Schlitz. My mad scientist will make sure everyone is clear on the spelling before asking for his euthanizer array. Can't wish for the genie to get me the best possible refund on my taxes every year. My sword cannot have the magical power of play Zydeco on command. 
If the wizard has his full complement of spells, I will not spend my action preparing s'mores instead of attacking. It is bad form to point out the elven princess's frothing. And the last one. 2,663. I will not assume the High Elf King's name is Chichius Chongus. That's it. That's the entire list. It took me three hours and 15 minutes to read this. Thank you for your support, people. My voice is fried. Um, if you want to support, if you want to, if you watch this and you want to still help, um, my PayPal is going to be in the comments or in the uh, description. Uh, I am going to shut this off because I am, I am hoarse and I have really got to go to the bathroom. Thanks a lot for everybody. Thanks for all the donations. Uh, it looks like I will be able to afford the uh, the daughter's copish, so she will be getting her uh, Christmas weapon. Thank you very much, and uh, peace out, homies. I shall. Um, I'm going to go gargle with salt water. Take care, guys. Au revoir.